Hello, hello everybody. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Welcome to another Edgewood members only stream. I'm just getting everything set up here. I hope you guys are all having a great morning so far. Hello, hello. I hope you guys can see me. Hey, okay, good. All right, you can see me. All right, hello. Hello, Summer, Olya, Anna, Allie, Marta, Kristen, Christina, Cho, Steven. I'm trying to see everybody who's in here. Hello. So, uh, sorry if I missed you. Hello, Montana and Neko. Nico? Neko? <laughs> and Vigilanton. Hello. And tu Tulonin. I think I got everybody. Bectorius. All right. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I am so excited because today we are going to be playing uh, Catherine Best, who is our animal caretaker in Edgewood. Now, I decided to do something a little bit diff different with Catherine than when we originally created her, and that is I made the pet shop separate from her house. And her house is gonna be where she's gonna care for the animals, just because I wanted to make things easier on her, because it's gonna be very difficult to, uh, to have her run the pet shop and care for the animals all on one lot. So we're gonna do it separately. And now whenever somebody in Edgewood wants to adopt a pet, they have to go visit her at her house in order to adopt a pet. And I'm hoping that we can do a little breeding maybe make some puppies and kittens because that's something I've never done before. <laughs> Necromancy, like necromancy, but cats. <laughs> okay, I got my coffee here and I'm ready to go. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna show you guys what I did for Catherine's house and her shop, which I'm sure you saw the uh, thumbnail and that is the pet store, but I'm gonna show it to you in greater detail. So let's get started. Let's see here. Okay, so here we are in Edgewood. I have not moved Catherine in yet. She is still here in the uh, bin, but I did create a house for her over here, right next to Nora's house and right across the street from uh, the Bakers. Or I guess they're not the Bakers anymore, are they? They're the Hubers, the Hubers. I need to change the household name. <laughs> I have never, believe it, believe it or not, I have never bred dogs or cats in The Sims 2, ever. So this is gonna be a new experience for me. All right, so let's go ahead and, well, actually I'm gonna move her in, then we can take a look at her house. So I'm moving her in with her four cats and dogs. And these are the stray animals in the neighborhood and I'm thinking we might need one more. I don't know, let's let's look. Let's go in and see. <laughs> Thanks, Olya, thank you very much. And so Catherine, guys, I think she might need a makeover. Um, I think she doesn't have any eyebrows. <laughs> so we'll have to see once we get in here if we need to do anything for her. And we have, it looks like we have two cats, one large dog and one small dog. So we might be able to make some kittens. <laughs> I wish I would have done either two small dogs or two large dogs, which is why I'm saying we might need to add one more. But the house isn't really huge, so I don't know how many animals she's gonna be able to handle in here. <laughs> okay, let's see here. I know. I didn't even think you could breed big dogs and small dogs at all. Oh, okay, here we go. Here are all the animals. We need to get the animals inside and out of the street. <laughs> But first of all, let's look at the house. Now, I did give her a little minivan because I thought she would need that for carting all the animals around town. So I gave her that. This, of course, is another one of Honeywell's bespoke houses that I'm using for Catherine. So I may, I fenced in the yard so that the animals, okay, it's lagging for a second. Um, I fenced in the yard so the animals would have a place to play, a safe place to play, and put a dog house back here and some toys and bowls. So I'm gonna lock this um, to uh, disallow pets. And I'm also gonna lock the front door to disallow pets. And that way they can't get out in the street. And then we'll just move them manually in there. Okay. Hey, hello. Hello, Emily and Nikki. I don't think I said hi to you. And hello to Montana. Okay, so here we go. I am going to show you guys what I have done. So on the top floor here, I went ahead and kept this room empty because I figured Catherine might want to have a family in the future. And if not, we could fill it up with animal stuff or something. So I just left this open for her. I made her a little office over here where she can take care of all the business stuff. And then over on this side, we have a full bathroom. And also, uh, I put the little laundry area over here upstairs in this open space. 
Okay, we're gonna see if she's obsessed with laundry. Hopefully not. <laughs> I know, I love these houses so much that I'm just using them in all of Edgewood. And when I run out, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'll have to build some myself, I guess. <laughs> okay, and so here's the downstairs. And I did everything kind of in a blue, at least in the living room. I did, I made it very blue, okay? <laughs> So here's the here's her living room. Of course, we have cat stuff and dog stuff all around for the animals uh, to enjoy. Let me put the walls up. There we go. So you can see how cute it looks. It's so cute. And I put like I put all these pictures of puppies and kittens over here. I thought she would totally have something like that in her house. She doesn't have eyebrows. <laughs> we'll fix that in just a second. Yeah, you should definitely use these builds. They're very very nice. And most of the time I don't have to do very much to them except for just do some recolors and stuff. Okay, so then through here we have the kitchen, which it's just just a little kitchen, not too much to it. I tried to do a little decor. Um, that's pretty much it. Got a dog bowl in there. There's one of Marta's lovely paintings that I thought matched the kitchen that I put in here. And then we have a small bathroom on the first floor as well. She's standing through the door. That doesn't look comfortable, Catherine. <laughs> that doesn't look good. We have a small little bathroom over here with a shower and litter box. And then this is Catherine's bedroom here, which I did kind of in a puppy theme, which I think looks really cute. And so, yeah, that's her bedroom. And that's it. That's the house. That's all we've got. And then back, and then of course you can go out the back door to the back yard. Okay, so let's go ahead and move the animals inside. So I'm going to turn move objects on. <laughs> hey, Shelby, welcome. Um, and let's go ahead. I'm going to put all these guys in the backyard. Go on back here. And like I said, we might need to get one more dog. I really hate to pile more on Catherine's plate, but I want to get either another big dog or another small dog so we can have puppies. Um, but right now we have little Maggie, uh, Josie, Miso, and Chomps. <laughs> How could we forget Chomps? <laughs> so maybe Miso and Chomps can have kittens. That would be cute. Oh, I still haven't fixed my skyline either, so I'm sorry that it looks like all the trees are underwater. I gotta do something about that. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the 999 level pixel right now. Right now. I might be doing some restructuring of my memberships soon. But I'll keep you guys updated on that. <laughs> Okay, so what are we gonna do now? Catherine, let's see here. Let's, no, I wanna select you. Let's go gussy her up and make sure that she has some freaking eyebrows because <laughs> she looks so weird with her eyebrows. Without her eyebrows, I mean, not with them. Come on, come on. And her hair style, I don't remember what hairstyle I had on her before. I feel like I had a ponytail on her, but I do. Oh no, see, I don't like how that clips through her ear. I think we're gonna have to change her hairstyle too. I don't like that. She wants to see the ghost of, uh, who is that? We'll check on her relationships in a minute. She already wants to hire a maid. <laughs> She's like, I already don't wanna clean this house. Well, first of all, let's give her some eyebrows so we can kind of see what her face actually looks like. Um, let's see. What kind of eyebrows would you have? Those. Those look pretty cute. Um, she's really cute, but we I think we need to change her hairstyle. Oh, look, here is the hair that Marta made for me. This is Gabriel's hair, or Marta textured for me. Thank you, Marta. Um, this is Gabriel's hair. So we're going to put this on Gabriel when we see him, and it looks so good. Um, but right now we're going to fix her hair. That's kind of cute. That's kind of the same kind of style she had, but it's it doesn't uh, clip through her ear. I don't know how I, I don't know how, if I like that around her face though. I want to give her something else. I feel like she needs more hair like around her face. Yeah. Um. Uh, was she the mean one? I think maybe she was. Oh, I like. I think I'm gonna give her this ponytail right here. That actually looks cute on her. 
She needs her hair up. To, she likes animals, okay? She doesn't like people. <laughs> she doesn't get along with other people. She likes animals. <laughs> I like this uh, ponytail on her, so let's give her that. And then get over here, Catherine. Get over here and let us see you. Aw, so okay, that's how I envisioned Catherine to look. Much better, much better. And let's check her relationships and see what happened at the meet and greet. Okay, so she has a pretty good relationship with her animals, at least. But she is absolute enemies. That's Ravi. She's enemies with Ravi. She hates him. <laughs> yeah, I remember when she was poking him. Yeah. Yeah, she's going to be running after all these animals. And then, look, she has two bolts with Franklin, but too bad because Franklin's taken. And plus, they don't even get along. Um, she doesn't like Melanie. <laughs> she doesn't like Paige. <laughs> she doesn't like anybody, okay? She didn't make any friends at the meet and greet, so I don't know what to say about that. She's a knowledge sim, so she may not even have any wants to get married and stuff. But she does want to hire a maid, and I think that's a good idea because we're going to have a lot of pet messes around here. But we're not going to be seeing the ghost of Ravi. I'm sorry, Catherine. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> So let me put the walls down here and let's go ahead and go hire a maid. Oh, I don't think I gave her a phone. Did I give her a phone? Yeah, I did. I did. I don't know if she can get to it. Let's go check and see. Let's go see if she can get to it because the food bowl's here, so I'm not sure. I know. He was just looking for friends and she had to go be a bully. Nope, she can't get to it. Okay. I don't have a lot of room in this kitchen to put the pet bowls. And I don't want to put them all outside, you know what I mean? I guess we'll just have to move the uh, phone. I wanted them to have at least one bowl indoors. Hold on, I want to put the walls up so we can see where I can put this. There's nowhere for a phone to go. I guess I'll just put it right here by the front door. And then I will center this. Gotta turn quarter tile placement on and I'm gonna center this because I couldn't stand it being not centered. Okay, let's try this again, Catherine. Let's try this again. We're gonna go hire a maid right away and she's gonna come over, there's gonna be nothing to clean. So let's call service. Oh no, we can't do that, what am I doing? No, 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 did you guys try to stop me? <laughs> you didn't, but you should've. <laughs> because we can't, hi we don't have, we can't hire a maid that way. No, no, no. We have to hire... We have to... I have to figure out how I'm going to handle the maid situation. Because we have a maid. <laughs> you were going to stop me? Okay, good. <laughs> I was going to go and it was going to generate a maid. So, I have a mod, but I've never used it before. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use it. Um, Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The mod where you get to pick your maid? Yeah, I mean, my original thought, my original plan was just to spawn her over here, have her clean. I think that's still what I have to do. Um, So I, I think I have to teleport her over and then have her clean and then pay her. That was my original thought. I'm not going to do the clone thing if I can help it. My original thought was, yeah, just I'm going to spawn. I'm going to invite her over every day, make her clean. <laughs> Pay her and send her on her way. <laughs> I could do that, Nikki, but I don't want to. I'm trying to avoid having to do that. I don't like doing the clone thing because it's not really the sim, and I don't like that. <laughs> Squingy's NPC selector. That's what I have. It'll let you choose from NPCs. Okay. So I'm going to do it the very tedious way, and that is to have <laughs> to to teleport the maid over, have her clean and pay her and send her on her way. That's what I'm gonna do. But there's nothing to clean right now, so no big deal. Um, I do wanna send her to the bathroom real quick and then we need to feed, we need to fill up all the dog bowls um, or the pet bowls, I guess. Oh crap, I just remembered, I forgot, I was gonna download uh, this mod where there's uh, like actual usable pet food that Joe told me about, it's on Mod The Sims. So you buy the little box of pet food and you ha and you use it to feed the animals and then when it runs out, you're out of pet food and you have to buy more. Uh, but I forgot to download it, so we have empty shelves in the pet store right now. <laughs> that
that's okay. Luckily, she's the only one who has pets right now. But I'll have to get that before we get to our other household so that they can go and buy their pet food. Hey, Miles. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to do a clone if I don't have to. If it gets to be too tedious on me, then I will do the cloning, but I'm trying not to do it right now. I'm going to try without it first. <laughs> yeah, the pet food mod is on Mod The Sims. So you actually have to buy your pet food and then you'll and then each box comes with so many food units. And then you have to buy more when you run out. It's really cool. And I wanted to stock the pet store with that usable pet food that our other Sims could buy. And I am going to do that. But I'm not going to do it today, apparently. <laughs> I gave, I did a walkthrough of the house, but we I haven't gotten to the business yet. So as soon as she finishes uh, filling up the animal food here. Oh, look, the cat and dog are playing together. Miso and Josie are playing together. How cute. Okay, so there's all the animal food, and we want that we really want the animals to get to know each other so we can try to do a little breeding here. I'm hoping that Miso and Chomps can become friends. And I don't have a lot of places for the animals. I have a bed here and a dog house here, but otherwise I'm just gonna let the animals get on the furniture. I don't care. Just sleep wherever. Sleep on the bed, sleep on the couch. <laughs> The maid can do macro cleaning. Yes, exactly, Christina. Exactly. That's what I'm thinking. If the maid wants to hire a maid, <laughs> she's going to have to hire herself, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to save here since we've got her all moved in. And I'll do just a quick little uh, sweep of the house for those of you that just joined. Um, so here's the bottom floor, living room, bedroom, kitchen, and bath. And then the top floor is office, bathroom, and laundry. And then an empty room if she wants to have kids in the future. And then we have our back, our backyard here for the animals. And you know what? I wanted to check Catherine's personality again because it's been a while since we've seen her. And also, I forgot to fix her age. That is not correct. Um, I did forget to fix her age. I was so, it took me so long to do the house and the shop that I was just like done last night. So I didn't get everything done that I wanted to, but I'm going to look at my Edgewood tracker now so I can see uh, how old she is. Cause I don't remember. I think she's 30. She's 30 years old. Okay. So I'm going to try to keep up with that. Um, her age and then I'll change it afterward. So let me see here. Edgewood Tracker. I've got Catherine in here, 30 years old. Okay, we're good to go. So yes, she, I believe she is straight. Let's double check. Um, and I need to get a Sim Blender, which I don't know if I did. No, I did. Um, I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check because I don't think we know for her. Um, traits: Catherine Best. Gender preference: Show preference. Yep, she's straight. She is straight. And then also, what was I going to do? Oh, her secondary aspiration. I don't know if we did a secondary for her. We did. She is a secondary pleasure. Knowledge and pleasure. That's exactly what kind of sim I am. <laughs> so now I really like Catherine. And I have to put that in her, uh, in her spreadsheet because I don't have that there. All right. <laughs> And we're also going to have to set a price for pet adoptions that Sims are going to pay her uh, to adopt the pets. So we have to figure that out as well. It, we might do different prices for like puppies, adults, and elders, I think. Probably the puppies will be most expensive and the elders will be least expensive. Okay, Miles, no problem. No, her money isn't... Oh, I think I did set her money. Let me just double check that. I think I did. No, I didn't. I just moved her in. What am I talking about? Um, let's check her money. Thank you. Her money, she needs 3,813. So let's go ahead and set that. Or actually, we have to give, we have to cheat her enough money to buy the pet store first. And then we'll set her money. <laughs> so I don't remember how much the pet store was worth. I think it was like 40 something thousand. So I'm just going to cheat her 50,000 so she can buy the pet store and then we'll reset her money. Uh, family funds best, 50000 I guess I could have done mother load, huh? And now I'm going to have her go to the phone and purchase the pet store, and then we can go take a look at it. So let's call, um, no, business. 
No real estate. Purchase community lot. Oh, she was trying to play with chomps. And I bet the animals are a lot happier here than they were in the old shelter because look at all this room they have to run around. Oh my gosh, Maggie is so fast. <laughs> Maggie's darting around out there. I know she wants Robbie dead. <laughs> she's she's not very um uh, she's not she's not very friendly with humans. Okay, so we want to purchase the pet shop, which I need to rename pet shop um yes please thank you oh, Catherine is now the owner of the pet shop okay and i also i said i was going to look at her personality yeah she only has four nice points so <laughs> she's not just downright mean because i think they need three or less but she's not that nice not to people anyway she's very serious and she is max neat which is going to be helpful for us because she's going to have to be cleaning a lot and she's very shy and not very active either. I wish I could have made her more active. The vanilla pet adoption is $3.99. Yeah, I think we could base it on that. $3.99 for a puppy. And then we could go from there. I like a nice even number though. We'll go with 400 That seems like a lot though, doesn't it? That seems like a lot for a puppy. Yeah, paws and claws. That's what I was going to name it because of the, the paws and claws sign, which I didn't get to use on the pet store. Um, but let's go over to the pet shop now. Let's travel. How am I traveling? Let's go in the van. So we're going to go somewhere and we need to figure out what our hours for the pet store are going to be. And we're going to leave the animals here. Um, like I said, we're going to do the animals and the pet store separately because I don't want to make her life too difficult. She's only one sim, and it's going to be hard enough for her caring for all these animals and trying to run a store by herself. Hey, Leslie. <laughs> Hello, Leslie Huber walking by. She lives right across the street from us here. She must be going on a morning walk today. <laughs> Your dog was 1500 Ouch. Yeah, that's true. The 400 could pay for the shots and everything. Or maybe we should charge more if we have purebred dogs and less if they're mutts. <laughs> we could just price per the litter, you know, or the cats, too. Caesar costs you 1100 as a pup? Ooh, that's rough. My dogs were free, but I got them from a coworker whose who's Shih Tzu and Dachshund had puppies. And, I, and Mr. Pleasant really wanted dogs at this time. And I was like, we will take two, please. <laughs> she just wanted to find a good home for him. Okay, so here we are at the pet shop, y'all. I love my little pet shop that I built. So it, I wanted to make a small lot because I needed to fill in this area right next to the clothing store. So here's the clothing store and then the bakery is over here and then the pet shop is right here. So I'm trying to kind of make a little like downtown type of area with all of our shops and everything. So I, I just have a little small uh, parking lot. Only three cars can park here. I made a little garden and then we have some... Um, dog houses here for sale so let me go in and show you guys the inside of the shop i love it too it's so cute now i i was originally going to use the backlit sign like the paws and claws sign that i used on my strange town uh shopping mall but it just didn't end up looking good on the building with the colors so i just used this little this little paw sign right here Okay, so let's go in. I did have to put stuff on the top and bottom floor because you can see this is a skinny little shop. We didn't have a lot of room, so I had to do two floors. <laughs> so on the top floor, we have public bathrooms. And then this is also the fish area. So our sims could come and buy fish here. And then we also I also have the small animal area so they can buy their wom rats and their birds up here. And then I didn't have any place to put this thing, so I just stuck it up here. It's going to be for sale, too. So there's that. And then on the bottom floor is where we have a lot of the stuff for sale. So over here, I have, like, all the dog toys and bowls are for sale. I've got some cat toys and some beds, some animal beds for sale. And we've got um, scratching posts. I put them under the stairs to save room. I've got some more beds, leashes, litter boxes. I kind of don't like how they're going into the shelf like that, but oh well. <laughs> oh well, that's how they look. <laughs> it's a 
litter tower, yes. And then here is where I'm gonna have the food. And I don't, right now I don't have any. Um, but this is where I'm going to put the food uh, for sale here on these two shelves because I figure it should be the most prominent thing. This is probably the major reason that most people are going to be coming to the pet store is to buy pet food. So I wanted to have that right front and center. And then we have all the rest of the supplies over here. And I've got like, here's another dog bed we'll have for sale. I wanted to have like one type of each thing for sale. And then we've got collars over here. We've got ant farms and a couple little kitty cat statues. <laughs> So this is it for now and we may eventually sell other things but I wanted it to look like kind of like an old historic house that's been converted into a shop and I feel like I, I hit that nail on the head and then also she has her office here um, to do her office work. Okay so let's go ahead and go in and and open up shop I guess. Oh, it is open. Okay, it is open. And then I wanna do the customer adjuster here. I am going to set the customer limit to three. We do not want more than three customers. We only have three parking spots. <laughs> I don't wanna deal with more than that right now. Eventually, uh, Catherine will hire somebody to work here, but right now it's just her. And let's go ahead and set her money too. What did I say it was supposed to be? 3813. So family funds, best 3813. Okay, now we're good. Now we're good to start. What does she want to do? I watch fish. <laughs> she better take care of those fish too. I think I'm going to have her go feed them right now. Restock. Oh, never mind. She has to, I'm not even going to stock it. I'm just going to let whoever purchases those stock it. Same thing with the cage. Um, that way we don't have to care for those animals right now. Okay, well, let's go ahead and go inside and see who shows up and who wants uh, who wants pet supplies. And that's going to kind of give us a clue as to what pets our Sims want, depending on what kind of stuff they buy in the pet shop. And of course, I have happy shopping shopping music. Oh, who's this? Hey, it's Aaron. Aaron Driscoll just showed up. Now, do I have to? I need to set stuff for sale, guys. I just realized I didn't actually set anything for sale. Yes, and I need to lock the door to her office. Good idea, because we don't want the Sims going in there using the computer. Did I put the walls up? No, no, no. And we need to set everything for sale. I completely forgot. So we're gonna allow household and employees only into the office, and then let's set all of our stuff for sale, geez. So we're gonna sell that. These are for sale. I'm even gonna be, I'm even gonna sell like the paintings and stuff. I mean, why not? Can I not sell that? Maybe she's looking at it so I can't right now. And then all these dog toys are gonna be for sale. I should have done this before. But like I said, I was sick of building. By the time I got the house <laughs> and the shop done last night, I was like, I need a break. I need a break from building. Uh, but I really, I'm really, i really happy with how this... Oh, I think I can just do that and it'll set everything, right? If I do that, will that set everything for sale? I think that's what you guys were telling me. Hopefully that's right. Tell me if I'm wrong. Or will that just sell the... Will that sell the shelf or will that sell everything on the shelf? I don't know. I'm nervous about that now because whenever I click on it, it says average 466. Okay, I'm just going to do everything individually because now I'm worried. I know some shelves work like that, but I'm worried because these are custom shelves that it won't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't know if these custom shelves work like that. It sells the shelf. Uh, that's what I thought. Okay, yep. All right, good. I was right. I don't want our customers buying our shelves. <laughs> they can buy the leash too <coughs> oh my goodness I gotta have a drink of coffee um I know so people were telling me when we were running the bakery that you could just set the bakery display for sale and it will sell everything inside but I don't think it works that way with those custom shelves yeah let's sell we can sell the painting we're gonna sell this we're gonna sell anything we can anything we can we gotta make the money um I don't think we can sell that you can buy that painting if you want to. I don't care. Take anything. Take anything. <laughs> I want to sell that, but I can't because she's looking at it. Okay, let's go upstairs. And we can sell the fish tanks, 
the painting, this, 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 any, all of this stuff is for sale. You can even buy the fish decorations if you want to. <laughs> and you can buy the fish rug. You can buy this painting and this one. <laughs> No, I'm not going to set that one for sale because I don't want people down there standing in front of the bathroom door. And I did throw a couch up here just in case our employees needed some comfort because I only have like a couple hard wooden chairs downstairs. And I didn't have enough room to really make a break room. So you're going to have to bring your own lunch if you work here. <laughs> you have no microwave or refrigerator. We're a small time operation. <laughs> You'd buy that fish rug? <laughs> Okay, so let's see uh, what Aaron wants to buy here. What are you looking at, Aaron? Let's, let's, may I help you? Hello, welcome to the store. Oh my gosh, we need to change Aaron's hair, y'all. I think we need to change, I don't think that, she needs eyebrows too, oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's change her appearance. <laughs> you gotta eat your food in your car, that's right, Olya. <laughs> oh, hey, look, it's Robin. Oh my God, Robin, jeez. He shows up at every store, I swear. I think he's scoping out stuff he wants to sell. sell. Okay, Aaron, what, Aaron, I need to gussy you. I need to gussy you up. Okay, yeah, we gotta do something with Aaron. <laughs> Let's give her some eyebrows, jeez. He's casing the joint. <laughs> I think he is. Okay, um, yeah, let's give her some eyebrows. That's much better. Does she have eyelashes? She doesn't even look like she has eyelashes. I guess she does. I can't tell. I guess she does. Okay, that's... Her eyes are so squinty. Why are, you ha why are your eyes so squinty, Erin? <laughs> I think we might need to give her a little plastic surgery. Um, I did, I actually, I gave Leslie a little bit of plastic surgery because I was like, man, I should have done a better job on these Sims. I think I will make her eyes a little bit bigger. I think they just look too squinty to me. Okay, let's give her a different hairstyle. I don't remember what hairstyle she had before. She looks constipated. <laughs> I think she had long, I think I gave her long hair, I'm pretty sure, but I just don't remember which style it was maybe something like that that looks really cute on her i like that um i definitely think she needs long not that one i definitely think she needs long hair no i think i'm just gonna give her that first one i think that one looks really cute on her okay can i give her plastic surgery right here i think i can can we go through Where's the Gussia plastic surgery? Okay, I'm just gonna widen her eyes just a little bit. Just a little bit. Brow, eyes. And I realize this is not even gonna be genetic, but <laughs> who stole her eyebrows? I did, I stole everybody's eyebrows. Um, so I just wanna, let's see. I width, rotate, outer orbit, size. Closeness, deepness, eyes up, down, orbit up and down. That's it. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That's it. Oh, hello. That works. <laughs> that made him bigger. <laughs> that made him too big, I think. I don't know. I think that made him, I think that looks weird. It's still like loading. Let's make him a little bit smaller. I think that looks better. It's hard. It's like not close. Oh, can I zoom in? Oh, I can zoom in. Obviously, I never give my Sims plastic surgery, but that is weird looking. Um, closeness, deepness. Up, down. The These sliders aren't very good here. Size. Let's make them a little smaller. Okay, I mean, I think that's all. I think that's better. Maybe? I don't know. <laughs> now I feel like I'm screwing her up. I feel like I'm screwing her up. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna leave her how she was because I feel like that's not doing good. She's gonna be constipated eyes. <laughs> okay, if you guys liked it, I'm glad because I didn't feel like I was doing a good job there. 
Okay, well, th I think this is okay. I think this is all right for now. She can just stay like that. Oh, look, it's Franklin. Um, she looks a lot better with eyebrows and um, long hair too, though. Oh my gosh, she's <laughs> Catherine's in here <laughs> gossiping about Ravi. Did you see that? She's telling Aaron, and Aaron's like, "Hey, I don't want to hear your gossip, okay?" <laughs> I'm glad you guys think she's cute. I was worried about her eyes, but we're just gonna leave her how she is. She looks how she looks. <laughs> okay, so let's try to make some sales. Wait, what are you doing? She's going to play catch. You have customers in here. Get in here. <laughs> Get in here. And do a, do a sa sale. All they wanna buy are uh, paintings, which is fine. Whatever, I don't care. Buy whatever you wanna buy. Or he, no, he's looking at a cat toy. Uh, Franklin's looking at a cat toy. I'm gonna make that for sale while I can. I guess that means Franklin wants to get a cat. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think he does, Christina. He just bought a cat toy. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's be cashier after we get done with this. And Erin, what are you looking at? I can't tell if she's looking at the painting or the cat toys, too. And he just bought, uh, Robin just bought a painting. He didn't even steal it. He actually bought it. <laughs> so let's be cashier. Come on, guys. Come check out now. Oh, he's not done. Now he's looking. Are you, Is he looking at a pet bed? I can't tell. I want to see what he's going to buy. This is going to give us a clue as to what kind of animal he wants. Hello, Mitchy. <laughs> oh, Mitchy, thank you so much for becoming a super fan. I saw that you uh, joined, and thank you so much. I appreciate that. Okay, so come on. Come on. Hurry up, guys. She's waiting at the cash register for you, okay? Let's, let's get this show on the road. He bought a bed and a cat toy, y'all. I think he wants to get a cat for Leslie. We need to have some kittens then. We need to have some kittens available the next time we get back uh, to the Hubers so he can go buy a cat for Leslie. That's so sweet. He's trying to make her feel better after the tragedy, I think. Okay, what are you buying, Robin? They are, they love these cat toys. They have bought almost all the cat toys. They bought all... They cleaned me out of cat toys. <laughs> kittens right meow. <laughs> She will not, Marta. She will not. Okay, we got our first simoleon. Yay, we can hang that on the wall now. Let's see. Let's put it on the wall somewhere. We'll put it over. It's not going to let me put it on the wall like that. Here, let's put it like this. No, I want it to go on the wall. There we go. <laughs> our very first simoleon. Um, did you miss last the last stream, Shannon? Because we had a really big tragedy. I won't spoil it for you if you didn't see it. <laughs> okay, what else are you guys going to buy? I think Erin wants a cat, too. She's looking at the cat. She's buying. She bought a cat toy, and now I think she's looking at the mice. And Robin over here... I don't know why you need so many cat toys, dude, but okay. <laughs> oh, who is that? What? Who the? Oh, that's Royce. I didn't recognize him. Royce is here. <laughs> Royce, what are you, ta what are you looking at? Um, a litter box. Everybody in town wants a cat. Oh, look, we got rank one of our business. Okay, let's see. What can we do with our perks? All right, what should we do here, guys? We've got... Um, notable reputation, uh, assess mood. I'm not going to do the Letourneau prize, um, but we can do wholesale discount or influential. So reputation, mood, discount, or influential. Hmm. Which, which way do we want to go? Discount prices? Yeah, that'd be good, especially since her profit margin is so low. Oh, yeah, perception. She is a knowledge sim. That's true. Assess mood to evaluate how perky or peeved a sim is. Assess desire. Look for mark. Convincing personality and manipulation. <laughs> she can manipulate her customers. 
Oh, that's true. That's a good point. She may need influential because she hates everybody. <laughs> Let's see. Um, with this perk, your capacity for influence will take a nice swing upward. Uh, you can perk up customers. You Motivational speech. Boundless influence. And rally forth. Hmm... Hmm, I know they're all good. I don't know which one to choose. I'm going to roll for it. Okay, I'm going to go to random.org. I'm going to roll one through four to choose because I just can't decide. All of these could be useful for her. So I'm rolling. I got number three. So that's discount, wholesale discount. All right, that's what we're going to take. We're going to take the discount. Um, and also, like I said, because the stuff she sell, sells is not worth a lot of money, that could be really helpful if we uh, purchase the stuff through wholesale. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, you forgot, Shannon. <laughs> okay, so back to our customers here. Oh, he's not done shopping. Robin is just, he's going to all our shops and supporting everybody, which is really crazy because he's the burglar. Maybe he's doing this to cover his tracks. Like, I don't burgle, I buy stuff from all the shops. <laughs> I'm not a burglar. <laughs> Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for your business. Thank you for your business. How we doing today? Oh, all right. 1647? Dang. I don't know how we how we made that much. Okay, so we're waiting on Robin here, and maybe we can go over and try to make a sale. Come on, Royce. You know you want that litter box. I know you don't have a cat at home, but I know you want to buy some litter from me. <laughs> he's scoping out the cash register. That's what he's doing. <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what he's doing. He's trying to make himself look good so nobody will suspect him. Oh, nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, guys. I'm starting, I get allergies in the fall. Um, here, there's some kind of plant or something that puts off pollen in the fall where I live and I start getting, my nose gets itchy and I start sneezing, so I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> Um, you guys are going to be seeing me sneeze a lot in the fall months. Okay. Oh, look, Nora's here. Nora, you want to buy an ant farm? <laughs> Let's go do a, a basic sell. You know what? I think I need to put like a mini fridge or something in her office because she really, if she's here and she gets hungry, she's got nothing. Or maybe we could put some uh, vending machines or something outside. You know, just for something to eat and drink here because we have no way to get anything. That was uh, Catherine. She was in the office. That was her. Okay. Oh, oh, he's ready to check out. Oh, oh, oh. Ring up customer. Sorry. Sorry, Robin. He's just walking around like, hey, hey, I'm ready to leave now. And Nora's in his way, I think. Oh, my God, Nora. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. <laughs> She's just going to stand there. Maybe I should move this stuff if it's going to cause a problem like this. Oh, my God. Come on. He's going to leave. I got to move her out of the way or he's going to leave. Okay, there we go. Whew. We need to get his money because he bought a bunch of stuff. <laughs> he bought like a painting and some cat toys. He bought a bunch of stuff. We need that money. So we opened up at 10. I think we'll try to be open from about 10 to six uh, here in the pet store. And I'm gonna write that down. I'm trying to keep hours for all of our businesses. So I'm gonna put um, pet store Monday at least 10 to six and we'll figure out what other days we wanna be open. Okay, Royce, you gonna buy that painting? Nora decided not to buy the ant farm after all. But she is looking at this pet bed here. Word around the st streets is that you're not doing too great in the community. <laughs> there have been some unpleasant rumors spreading about you. You should keep a lookout for yourself. Catherine, nobody likes you. You're not gonna have a successful business. <laughs> Let's go try a basic sell on him. You know you wanna buy this painting of kittens in flower pots. Come on now. She might have got mad that I moved. It probably broke her interaction there. You're probably right. <laughs> yeah, she's not interested if it's not black. 
Should Catherine provide obedience training? Yes, I think she should. Yes, I think she should for sure. And we'll we'll charge a, uh, an amount for that. That's a good idea. It's a very good idea. While they're doing this here, let me think about what we're gonna do for our prices. I probably need to make another tab on my spreadsheet um, because I am just putting everything in one. <laughs> and so we can keep up with our business notes. Business. Okay, where did you go? Where did you go? Oh, she's going to check out her printer. What a lovely print. Oh no, she hates it. She hates it. <laughs> I hate this printer. <laughs> But she likes the picture of kittens that I put in her office. Okay, did you buy something, Royce? No, no, you didn't. Now you're just standing in my store. Okay, so what we're gonna do for the pet store hours are 10 to six. Oh, hello. We're making a connection there. Um, 10 to six for the pet store, at least on Tuesday, or wait, Monday, I'm sorry. Are they getting in a fight? Oh my God, Catherine, you're trying to make a sale, not, oh, geez, Louise. She's, uh, she's pissing off her customers. <laughs> she has a bad reputation and she, oh, now they're going to dance together? What the heck? <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 thank you. I don't want to dance with you. Catherine, you are weird. Oh my God, stop it. Stop it. You can't, okay, it's time to close the shop. <laughs> close we're an hour past closing time and he is not buying anything anyway but wow Catherine <clears throat> I have a feeling this is going to be very difficult because she doesn't like a lot of people in town <laughs> yeah those four nice points are really showing <laughs> yeah she should definitely be open on the weekends I agree with that um and I was looking at our bakery as well okay get out get out now, get out of his way. Look at her thinking about fighting. My God, Catherine. We need to go back home to the animals. Okay, so once everybody leaves, we're going to close up shop here. <laughs> and one thing I want to do, though, while we're here is I want to see if I can put like a... Maybe I should put vending machines. What do you guys think? Vending machines or a mini fridge or something? Because she's like starving. Let's see. Oh, that's a washing machine. We don't want that mini fridge can, what can she can she eat stuff out of here hold on let me see have she can get snacks out of there and instant meals she can get snacks and instant meals <laughs> yeah buy something or get out <laughs> so i think i'll put i'll just have her a little mini fridge here so she can have her snacks and stuff nobody else should be staying here long enough that they would get hungry and if they do that's their own fault <laughs> So she's got her mini fridge there. Okay, so I'm going to send her home now um, so she can go eat. Tomorrow she'll have to come early and restock before we open. So, or tomorrow, maybe she'll be off. Maybe she'll be closed on Tuesday and Wednesday. So like I was saying, I was looking at our bakery hours. And right now our bakery is open Tuesdays and Thursdays so far. The pet store is open on Monday because we want everybody to be able to shop at all the shops. So we kind of have to like stagger our hours around. Um, let me see. Tuesday. No, it should be Monday. 10 to 6. So, yeah, since the bakery is open on Tuesdays and Thursdays, maybe she should be closed or... Yeah, maybe she should be closed on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, the door to the office is locked. Yeah, I already locked it. Okay, so let's drive home. Yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day for her. And actually, how much money did we make? Um, 1,463 simoleons. Wow, she had a really good day. Oh, she's doing that thing where she's waving the somebody off the lot again. So what did we use? We used Simblender, didn't we, to take care of that? That is, oh, it's so annoying, but I'm glad we figured out how to fix it. Um, so I'm gonna have to put, where am I gonna put this? I'll put it in her office here. 
And then let's... What did we do? Teleport. Clear off. It's Rudolph again. It's freaking Rudolph again. Okay, I'm gonna do all non-residents. Rudolph keeps getting stuck. It's very strange. Oh, the dog houses. Yes. Thank you. I did forget the dog houses. Yes, we got to set those for sale. Those are worth a lot of money. Okay, she's on her way home now. It's almost eight o'clock. That's what it's like running your own business. I've been working on the supermarket over here. You guys can probably see that. It's not even close to finished, but I'm working on that. <laughs> for I believe Anna Louisa is going to own the supermarket. Yeah, screw Rudolph. Dang it, Rudy. We named our child after him. <laughs> we named Nora's child after him. Yeah, I don't know why Why it happens. It happens every t just about every time. I don't know what's up with that. I don't know if it has something to do with a visitor controller or what. Rudolph is the reporter, I think, or he's the witch, or he's the warlock. I can't remember now. Oh, here, there goes Lily. Hey, Lily. We're gonna get to you someday. We're gonna get to play you someday. <laughs> Catherine's due home in nine hours. Oh my God, I hope the animals are gonna be okay. Um, I just fed them, so I'm just gonna speed things along here and I'll keep an eye, see if anybody turns orange. He's the warlock, okay. Oh, look, it's Christina. <laughs> Christina is thinking about babies too. Oh my. Christina just arrived to welcome us to the neighborhood. To welcome us to the neighborhood, I bet. <laughs> yep. Yeah, she wants to get a bronze sales badge and a restocking badge. I think we can we can lock in the sales badge. We need she definitely needs to work on her sales skills. <laughs> Yeah, that's what I thought he was the warlock. I thought so. So he's just getting, I guess the warlock is trying to come to the lots and he's getting stuck. Oh, look at these cute little babies. They need to make friends so they can breed. <laughs> so I think that one is male and one is female. Chomps. Oops. Chomps and miso. Yeah. So they're opposite sex, so they can definitely breed, but they're not friends yet, and it doesn't look like they're getting along very well. <laughs> I wonder if I can... Let's have them play together. Let's just work on this. Come here. No, play together. Oh, are you hungry? I'm sorry. You're not that hungry. Oh my god, did you see the kitty climb up there? That was so cute. Oh, look at that. That's such a good animation. I love that. I want to get, uh, we're going to get Laszlo a cat tree like this because he started to climb all over everything and they did not play together. So that didn't go as planned. That didn't work out how I wanted it to. <laughs> he is, he's trying to get through the banishment <laughs> and he's not succeeding. Okay. I'm going to speed this up a little bit. All of our animals seem to be doing okay right now. Now, I'm thinking we need to get one more animal, either a large dog or a small dog. But you know what? Let's just focus on having kittens first. Hey, Robin, you better get out of here. You case it. Is he casing the house? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she would be a good fit. <laughs> but that is not her. That's not what she's going to be doing. Does she, she wants to go on a date? Oh, she does want to go on a date. I don't know who on earth she's going to go on a date with, but we're going to, she's going to have to try to meet somebody. Um, she doesn't get along with Robin either. <laughs> what are her turn ons and turn offs? I wonder. Um, she likes black hair and logical. Okay. Does she know anybody with black? She knows Kai. Was Kai gay? I can't remember. I don't think so. Yeah, tomorrow we'll have her go to... Maybe she'll go to the bakery tomorrow or head over to the uh, clothing store since those are really the only two places we have to go. She can go shopping tomorrow and we'll see if she can meet anybody with black hair. 
hearts. <laughs> is he here to steal the TV or steal hearts? Oh my God, you messy, sloppy cat. Look what you have done. We're gonna have to get a maid over here. <laughs> okay, so I wanna see, see if I can get these two cats to play together. Come on, play. Don't pounce and hiss at, play. Aw. Why won't you play? Play, I say. Play with each other. We want some kittens. <laughs> oh, no. See, Chomps is not very nice. Chompsy, for God's sake, play. <laughs> he might be bi. There we go. If we get Chomps to do it, it'll work. Oh, no. Chomps doesn't like me so at all. Oh, no. This is going to be harder than I thought. This is definitely going to be harder than I thought. Okay, now they have a positive relationship. Let's do this again. Come on, Chompy. Come on, Chompsy. <laughs> we got to keep trying to get their relationship high. So when you breed cats, I know whenever you breed dogs, you have to have a dog house. But what about cats? How do the cats breed in The Sims 2? I know, I need to play with pets more too. Oh, Chomps had to go eat. Well, we got the, we made a little bit of progress on their relationship at least. Okay, so let's speed things up here. All the animals seem to be doing fine for the moment. The dog gets along better with the cats than the cats get along together, if that makes sense. <laughs> you need it for cats too? Okay. So dogs or cats can breed in the doghouse. Okay. Um, okay, Catherine's home. And she is hungry, guys. So we got to go get some dinner. Oh, no. What happened? The cats tore... The cats tore up the hanging pots? How, what? How did they reach the pots on the ceiling? <laughs> they tore it up. Wow. Um, okay. I know. I was, th I was thinking that, too. I wish they could go in the bottom of the cat tree. Well, you know what? Let's go serve some dinner. Let's go make some potato soup for dinner. <laughs> I can't believe that's what they tore up. Catnip. <laughs> they went crazy with the catnip. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know how that happened. We're going to have to clean that up. We're going to have to get our maid over here. And she'll have her first assignment in this, in this house. Also, our gardener. We're probably going to need our gardener soon, too. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to calculate, um, like, how many hours they're here. And then we're going to pay them for that. So that's going to be a little tedious. We're going to see how it works out. <laughs> they must have jumped on the table, Anna. They must have. Yeah. <laughs> they need some anger management. <laughs> Are you seriously eating chips? I told you to make some dinner. Go sir. Can you not serve dinner? Yeah, you have an empty cabinet here. Oh, I'm missing a cabinet thing. Hold on. I'm missing a cabinet strip. There we go. Oops. That's my bad. Um, why didn't you serve your dinner? Oh, look. Miso's on the counter. I'm just going to let him get on the counter. I don't care. All of her animals are going to be so poorly behaved. It was Chomps. I think it was. <laughs> Okay, there you go. She was just so hungry, she had to get a little snack first. <clears throat> yeah, the maid doesn't have to come every day. That's absolutely true. She's only going to come when, when she's needed. And I'm okay with that because this is my neighborhood where I'm going to micromanage. <laughs> I don't do this in my Pleasant View streams and stuff because it would just be a lot of work to do this with more than one neighborhood. But in Edgewood, I'm doing, I'm making all my dreams come true. All my micromanaging dreams are coming true in Edgewood. <laughs> okay, cook your, cook your soup here. It's getting late. There we go. And now she's going to have plenty of leftovers too. And so after she finishes that, then she's got to feed the animals and get ready for bed. And tomorrow, I think she'll be off tomorrow. Uh, she made pretty good money today. So she'll be off and we'll go try to find her somebody to go on a date with, for God's sake. <laughs> Micromanage Bill. <laughs> and uh, we'll get the maid over here to clean as well. Okay, go put these away. Aw, give love to Chomps. How can you not give love to Chomps? 
And then we're gonna fill up um, all the do animal bowls. We're gonna clean it, we're gonna fill it, we're gonna clean it, and we're gonna fill it. Oh, look, uh, Josie's sleeping in the doghouse. How cute. <laughs> Where are the other animals? Where's everybody at? Oh, somebody's sleeping on the bed. Miso's sleeping on the bed. Where is Maggie? Oh, Maggie's sleeping on the ground. That's kind of sad. You can come in and sleep on the couch, Mags. <laughs> and so once she finishes that, um, let's send her to the bathroom, I guess. Take a shower. And she'll go ahead and go to bed for the night. I'm really interested to see who she's going to end up dating or who's going to be able to put up with her. <laughs> is what I should say. Who's going to be able to deal with her crap in town? Um, well, she already knows Kai and he has black hair. But I don't see that they have any chemistry, though. So I don't know. I don't know. We're going to send her around to the shops, see who she can run into tomorrow. Um, after we get the maid over here. She's not interested in anybody. She hates everybody. <laughs> she hates everybody she meets, okay? <laughs> um, the only person, she has one with Preston, like one relationship with Preston. And four with Kai, and that's it. She does. She did seem to like Aaron. Um, so maybe she and Aaron can actually be friends. She was gossiping to Aaron and stuff. I've never seen her be so nice to somebody. Stupid clock. <laughs> Mags is too polite to lay on the couch. I know. You think he's gay? Let me check my spreadsheet and see. Um, if, if he's gay or if he's... I don't remember. Well, I didn't write it down. If he is. I didn't... I don't think he is. Because I have, like, bisexual, bisexual, gay, bisexual, gay. But I don't have anything next to his name. So, I don't know. We'll have to check. We'll have to check on him. I remembered that, too. But we could be remembering wrong. I don't know. Or maybe I just didn't write it down. All right. Head to bed now. You have a long day of probably alienating more people tomorrow, Catherine. <laughs> Oh, he was the first gay sim? Maybe I, maybe that's why I didn't write it down. Because I wasn't keeping notes then. You guys might be right. Um, well, he could be a friend for her, maybe, since she doesn't hate him. <laughs> since it's so very rare to find somebody um, that she doesn't hate. And I'm going to save here, too. So far, I think this is going a lot more smoothly than my previous... Um, the previous way I was doing the animal shelter and pet store, I think separating them was really a good idea because now she can just focus on either the animals or the store separately. Oh, what does she have a fear of? Maggie is sprayed by a skunk. Oh God, I hope not. I hope not. And okay, Miso is chomps awake. Chomps, I want you and Miso to get to know each other. We need some kittens, okay? We really need to work on this. Let's have Chomps go play with Miso again. Come on now. Come on. Give us some kittens. <laughs> that that could be Pixel. I could totally see that happening. I love kitties too. We got to get this relationship up. Come on. They're going to make some cute little kittens too, hopefully. Come on, Chomps. I find that if I have Chomps initiate the play, they get along better. But if I have Miso initiate the play, Chomps doesn't like it. Chomps likes to be in control. <laughs> Here, play again. Play some more. I love cats, too. <laughs> I love cats and I love dogs. I'm like, I'm not a cat person or a dog person. I'm both. <laughs> I like both. Okay, we're getting there. We're making progress. Play again. Oh, Catherine's waking up. It's 6 a.m. Come on, get over here and play with each other. Yeah, Chomps has to have it on his terms. That's right. You're both as well. <laughs> Me too. I just love them both. Okay, come on now. We're getting, we're, they're very close to being friends, like very close. Okay, one. I'm going to have them play one more time, then I'm going to leave them alone for now while we focus on Catherine. So Catherine wants to get a skill point. She wants to take a bubble bath, but she needs to get some breakfast. 
Um, she's gonna go clean up her old bowl. You don't have to clean that up. We're gonna get a maid over here. You just, um, actually, let's do that now. So that while Catherine's getting ready for the day, the maid can be cleaning. So it's 6.30 a.m. And let's go ahead and teleport her over. Oh, crap. What's our maid's name? <laughs> Hold on. Who was our maid, guys? Um, Paige? Was it Paige? Crap. Now I don't remember. Was Paige our maid? L let me see. I have her name written down, but I don't have her, what she is. I think so. I think it's Paige. Okay, it was Paige. Thank you. All right, so we're going to teleport Paige over. Paige is only 18 years old. She was a, She's our youngest sim in town. Um, so let's enable summon menu. Let's teleport. Now I don't remember which house she's in. I think she's in the Layton house. Yeah, Paige. Okay, Paige. Hello. Thank you for coming over to clean. She is so pretty, too. Look at her. Look at her. She's gorgeous. Okay, Paige. Um, so it's 6.30 a.m. We're going to start her cleaning right now. I'm going to make her selectable. Um, let's see. 6.30 a.m. And we're going to see how long it takes her to clean. So let's make her selectable. And then she's going to, we're going to do macro clean. Okay. So get to work, Paige. And we have to keep an eye on her and see when she finishes. Because we don't want to pay her for time that she's not working. And Catherine, um, you need to get in here and have some breakfast. So let's just eat some leftover soup for breakfast. That sounds good. Yeah, a maid being a romance sim, I agree. Select a dish. Let's. Are my walls down? What the heck's going on here? I don't know what that was. Um. No, I'm gonna change the other Sims' hair because I love this hair on Paige. <laughs> so I'm gonna change the other Sims' hair. I can't remember. Uh, who was that? I think it was Diana, who had the same hair. But I like another hair on Diana. Okay, Paige. Are you seriously out there mopping up puddles? You don't have to do that. We need to get the gardener over here, too. And, but hopefully it won't take her too long to clean up. And then Catherine, Catherine's just going to get ready for her day. After she eats, I'm going to send her up to take a bubble bath. She wants to relax on her day off after having to deal with the public. She hates dealing with the public. And I don't blame her. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a trend, Olya. Yeah, it's a trend in Edgewood. <laughs> Hey, Miles. <laughs> Glad you could make it back. Yeah, I think um, Paige is going to cause a lot of drama in the neighborhood once we start playing her. Where did she go? All right, she's still cleaning. We got to keep an eye. That's the only bad thing about doing it this way is that you have to keep an eye on the workers the whole time to see when they finish. But I still think it's worth it. Because we have the actual Sim here working for us and not just a clone of her. It's still Bugwood. That's right, Marta. It's still Bugwood. <laughs> and as so, so as soon as the maid is finished, we're going to go ahead and send Catherine um, out on the town to see who she can meet. And I'm just checking on the animals here. Everybody's doing really well. Um, where's Chomps? Chomps, you better get in here. Get in here and play with Miso again. They're so close to becoming friends. So close. And then we can we'll see if we can have some kitties. Some kittens. <laughs> Catherine fighting with all her customers. Yeah. <laughs> she's got a bad reputation in town. Oh, okay. She's done. She's done. Um, Paige is done. It's 830. Exactly. Wow. On the dot. That's crazy. Two hours she worked. So, oh my God, guys, what are we going to charge? What are we going to charge for maid service? Maid service, um, like how much per hour do you guys think is fair? 20 bucks an hour? I think that's a good, a good amount. 20 an hour? You think 50 an hour? 50? Okay. You guys think 50. We can do 50. Um, so let's, we'll do 50 an hour. So she gets, let me just write this down so we don't forget. 
50 an hour so she gets paid a hundred uh, simoleons for this for her service today I don't know how much the maid NPCs charge they charge by the day don't they I don't think they charge by the hour in Sims 2 I think we'll do 50 there are Sims are generous so okay so I'm gonna send Paige home I'm gonna make Paige unselectable um, we're gonna send her home ask to leave and then we'll have uh, Catherine go on her computer and send the money to Paige. And then I also have to write that down so that when we fix Paige's money, um, we remember that she gets 100 extra simoleons for her first job. So let me just write this down, guys, because I want to keep up with everything. Um, I've got Gabriel and Dr. Hickey's money here. And now I'm going to add Paige. 100 okay and let's go ahead back to send her home and go to our computer right now before we forget and we're gonna bank online and we're gonna transmit money to the household funds of a playable sim 100 simoleons thank you very much for your service page that was very helpful Um, I think that's in this. I don't think that's in the Sims 2, is it? I think it's in the Sims 3 where I don't know. I don't know. I thought they charged like 125 a day for maid service in the Sims 2. I know $50 an hour is great, but you also have to think she may only work two hours. So she's not like getting super rich here. <laughs> um, but if she ends up cleaning everybody's house, she's going to do quite well for herself. Okay, so let's do page. 100 simoleons. All right. So that went really well. I think that's definitely doable for us. Like while our maid is cleaning, we can just have our sim take care of other things they need to do around the house. And now it's time for her to go out. And um, let's make sure the animals all have food before we go. Looks like those bowls down there are full. That bowl is full. Okay. So let's head out and we're going to go somewhere. And we're going to go see who we can meet around town. Oh, they charge 10 an hour plus a base fee of five. Jeez. Well, we're paying 50 an hour in Edgewood, dang it. <laughs> because our Sims actually have to live on this money, unlike the NPC uh, maids, you know what I'm saying? We're going to pay 50. If it ends up being a burden, we could lower it, but I think 50 is good. I think 50 is good because they do have to live on it. And also, it'll make it so that our really poor Sims won't be able to afford a maid. And that's how it should be, you know? <laughs> yes, and for the computer, too. That's right, Marta, for being able to transfer it from the computer. I know all the Pleasant View Sims want to move here. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Um, where are we going to go? The clothing store. Let's head over to the clothing store. She's just going to browse around. She may not buy anything, um, but it'll be just a way for her to get out of the house because we don't really have any, like, parks or anything to go to right now. So she's just going to go to the to the community lots that we have um, open right now, which is the clothing store and the bakery. And let's see if we can have her meet somebody. Or maybe she'll run into Kai again and then we can check his gender preference. But I think you guys are right. Because I do remember him being gay too. But let's see if we can find anybody with black hair. Who has black hair in town that's straight? Let me see here. Let me see here. Who Who is it? Who do we have as far as our males go? There may not be anybody. Um, we've got, okay, that's Kai. So there is somebody else, the repairman. The repairman has black hair and Anthony. <laughs> oh my God, I hope she doesn't fall for Anthony. <laughs> yeah, the maid union, exactly. <laughs> okay, so here we are at the clothing store. Who's our repairman? Hold on. I got I it's hard for me to remember everybody because we haven't played them yet. Who is who are you? Not Hickey, not Preston. Is it Rob? No, it's not Rob. It is. 
No, it's not Ravi. It's not Ravi. Who the heck is it? Prest no, Preston is the priest. I don't remember who our repairman is, guys. Do any of you remember? <laughs> I don't remember. Kai might be by. That's true. Okay, this guy, Dewey, right here, this is the reporter. I looked in a uh, sim PE, so he's the reporter and there's, I have found no way to stop the reporters from generating. So we're just gonna have to let him wander around town and ignore him. Oh my gosh, did somebody, somebody left their stuff on the floor and left. But hey, Nora's working, so that's nice. I guess she got a babysitter for the baby. <laughs> no, don't talk to Dewey. Dewey is not a part of this town, okay? You cannot talk to him. Christina's here again, looking at the shoes. <laughs> Dr. Hickey, she might get along with Dr. Hickey. They're both jerks. <laughs> Let's greet him. <laughs> oh, that's right. It was Kai. He probably won't be coming back. He was mad. All these Sims are shopping. She's not going to be able to talk to him. We got to catch somebody before they start shopping. But I think that's as many Sims as they're going to show up here. Where the heck did Nora go? Nora, where are you going? I guess she's checking out the outside of her business. <laughs> the reporter called Dewey. <laughs> okay, well, she's not having any luck here. Come on. I'm gonna also walk for watch for any Sims walking by. Oh, I used a different concrete for this, didn't I? Maybe I need to use that concrete for the pet shop too. She's still, oh, there she goes. Hello, Dr. Hickey, hello. Oh, she pulled a prank on him and he hates it. Oh my God, Catherine. It is gonna be so hard to get her into a relationship with anybody. Cause she's, oh, there she goes. She's so mean to everybody. <laughs> oh my God, Catherine. Well, she hates Dr. Hickey, okay. Let's go somewhere else. <laughs> Let's go to the bakery. <laughs> Let's go to the bakery. <laughs> Nothing else here for us. I gotta rename all these. I'm gonna rename all the lots and I need to, but I'm waiting until I get my street names and everything sorted out. So there's still a lot to do. There was no chemistry. No, they had negative chemistry. I don't know what we're gonna do. She, she's definitely gonna be the most difficult to pair with somebody. Um, I want to try to find, maybe we'll have her call Kai and invite him over if she doesn't meet anybody at the bakery. And we can see if he's gay or bi, first of all. And then if he's bi, maybe we can try to encourage that relationship because he's the only one that she hasn't hated instantly. <laughs> the town grump, I love it. The ta Catherine, the town grump. <laughs> Yes, Nora's Boots and Pants is what we're naming that for sure. And this is Leslie's Love Muffins here. Hello, Leslie. Um, you got anything for sale? Are you all out of stock? Oh, we can buy, let's buy this piece of pie. Add to shopping bag. We're gonna buy your last piece of pie, Leslie. <laughs> uh, well, does she have anything over? She's got some bread over there. We're just gonna buy this pie. Hello, I'm on my day off and I would like to buy a slice of pie. Thank you. Thank you. Um, let's check out. And look, here's Lily. Hello, Lily. Um, and let's watch. Oh my God, it's Gabriel. It's Gabriel. Yes. Let's change his hair, guys. <laughs> let's change his hair. No, not, not that. Gussy up. She's, she could talk to Gabriel. I mean, he's a romance sim, but... Yes, now he's his old self again. Thank you, Marta. <laughs> Thank you for texturing this hair because I needed this hair on Gabriel. He just wasn't the same without it. <laughs> That's all he needs done. He is just, oh, he's so cute. He is cute. <laughs> and it looks, he just had to have his long hair, y'all. He just wasn't the same without it. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna have her greet Gabriel and talk to him. I mean, maybe they could have a fling at least. She probably hates him. Hey, there's Paige. Paige is coming to spend that money. <laughs> she just got her paycheck. She's coming to the bakery. 
<laughs> She's like, I need some bread. He does look so cute. Are we paying 18 simoleons for a slice of pie? Gabriel's gonna buy some pie too. 110 bucks for a pie? That better be the best damn pie ever. <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe she will. Maybe she will humble herself after getting her heart broken by a romance sim. I don't know. I have no faith in this. I want to have her greet Gabriel. She wants to go on a date. Oh, look, she thinks Gabriel's hot. Let's see. Please don't be mean to him, Catherine, okay? Oh, look, she's not being mean to him. Let's see. Oh, she's got to go to the bathroom. And then I was going to have her uh, check Sim out and let's see how she feels about him. Get that bread. <laughs> That's very expensive pie. Leslie makes a really good pie. Okay, they don't have any chemistry. But, I mean, she hasn't been mean to him, so that's a plus. <laughs> wow, these Sims are cleaning her out. Uh, Paige over there spending her money. Um, Let's see. Let's see if we can have her chat. No, talk. Just go chat with them and don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk, Catherine, okay? This could be your only chance to get some love. <laughs> She thought she, oh, she thought he was gross. Oh crap. The only guy she's not a jerk to and she doesn't, she's not attracted to him. Wow. I don't know what to say about that. We're going to keep, we're going to keep on the lookout. It's getting pretty late in the day. Let me check on her needs. She's getting pretty hungry. She does have this pie though. Oh, we can't eat it here. Oh, she's going to have to take it home and eat it. Well, I mean, she's not being mean to him. I can't believe it. So even though she's not, like, like you know, romantically attracted to him, she doesn't hate him. That's a start. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't mean they can't have a fling. <laughs> yeah, no chemistry is better than the negative relationship bar, yeah. You may not be hot to me, but you're tolerable. <laughs> yes. Oh, what are you doing? You're going to clean up. You don't have to clean up Leslie's shop. Okay. <laughs> Leslie's doing quite well for herself today. Um. All right. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and go back home so she can eat her pie. And then we're going to call up Kai. Because she's just, man, she is not having any luck, guys. <laughs> Friends with benefits. That may be the best she's ever going to get. To be honest, it, it really might be. <laughs> she doesn't I don't think she's gonna want to get married but she might but knowledge sims usually it's like really hit or miss for me they they sometimes don't ever want to get married yeah I think they could have an understanding I could totally see that happening she's probably you know what I just thought of she's probably gonna have Gabriel over to her house a lot because with all of her enemies <laughs> Her trash can is probably going to be, you know what, we got to put our trash can out in front. <laughs> Nobody can get back there to kick it down. I think one of you guys said in the last, uh, in the last stream that if I keep all of the trash cans locked up, that Gabriel won't have any work to do. And I was like, you know what, you're right about that. So I'm not going to lock up the trash cans because we need some of our Sims to get roaches every now and then or Gabriel won't make any money in town. <laughs> so I'm just going to put this right out here, right out here in the open where anybody can just kick it over. <laughs> yeah, she calls him to clean up in a booty call. <laughs> that that really might be the best she's going to get. I don't know. Okay, well, while we're waiting on her to get back, let's see if we can work on Chomps and uh, Miso here. How are they not friends yet? Oh, my God. Come on. Come on now. Oh, they're already playing together, I think, I hope. Yeah. Okay, play again. Play again. I need you guys to be friends because we want kittens. <laughs> That's true. Her animals are her true loves. Yes. Her animals are the most important thing to her. Play again. I'm never going to stop until you're friends. I know it, Chompy. I know it. Look, they have 100 over 40. 
Uh oh, bills are due. Bills are due. Come on, guys, become friends. <laughs> I don't need friends. They disappoint me. That's right. She's very disappointed in people. Definitely. Oh, they're play now they're playing on their own. So that's good to see. Okay, play again. I want these kittens. I really do. How how long does it take for kittens to be born? Is it three days? The same as Sims? An enemy with benefits. <laughs> I just, oh, they need to hurry up and be friends. They're getting there. We're getting there. We got two cats on the counter. All right, I'm gonna speed things up a little bit here. What was that? Oh, the animals just aged up. I forgot they age up at like 11. I can't, I don't know how long gestation is for the animals in this game, because like I said, I have never bred dogs or cats in this game. Uh, but we're going to change that today. <laughs> I know, they have the best life. <laughs> okay, what time is it? It's getting, she should be getting home pretty soon. And maybe the cats will just become friends on their own. We're definitely getting close. Okay, so Catherine's home. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to send her in to eat her pie. And then we're going to call Kai. So let's put this out here. Go eat your delicious pie. Oh, she's getting the mail. Um, she Her zodiac sign is, gosh, I don't remember. Oh, she's a uh, Virgo. She's, oh no, cats, no, 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 no. Did you just undo all the work we did? Oh no, that's a dog. Oh no, oh my God, stop it, stop it. Um, Maggie is attacking Miso. Oh no, poor kitty. No, Maggie, bad Maggie. Oh no, okay, we have to give Maggie a bath. That, I thought it was the cats fighting, but it was Maggie attacking me, so. <laughs> okay. It's between two and four days. Okay. You know what I just realized? I don't know if we're going to, we're going to have to take the animals upstairs to bathe them, and that's going to be a pain in the butt. I, you know what? We should put a pet bath outside. That's what we should do. Um, Let's find, where's the pet bathtub? This one. I'm going to use this one. I'm just gonna put a tub out back and this is gonna be we're gonna bathe the cats in there that way we are the the pets in there that way we don't have to take them upstairs I think that's a better solution I know they're grumpy <laughs> what is she doing oh he wants to play or somebody wants to play I don't know I don't know who I've selected um, but we need to bait, wash. Oh, somebody's calling her. She better answer the phone. Answer the phone when you get done with your pie, please. Please. Come on. Oh, wait. That, I, was I telling the cat to answer the phone? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's Erin. I, I swear, Erin is going to be her friend. I know it. She's the only one that uh, Catherine likes. And then once she gets done with that, we need to go bathe uh, Maggie. And how is our other dog doing? Uh, that dog seems to be okay. And then we need to fill the pet bowl. And I want her to call Kai. You got a lot of things to do, Catherine. You better get on it. We got to find some romance for you. <laughs> uh, Virgos are compatible with Pisces or Cancers. I think the, I thought the signs had a bigger impact than turn ons, turn offs. But I'm not 100% sure on that. Okay, so it's 6 p.m. That means Catherine is now turning, she's actually turn, turning 32 now. I gotta put this in the spreadsheet. She's turning 32. And she still has no romance in her life. It's quite sad. And let me see what Kai's sign is he is a pisces kai is a pisces you're a virgo married to a pisces 
I know. I want her to find someone too, because she obviously wants. She obviously wants to. She wants to go on a date. Okay, you need. I'm sorry, but you gotta go. Sorry, Aaron. We gotta go. I got stuff to do. I gotta take care of these animals. I know. I know. He stinks. We're about to take care of it. Fill that bowl up too while you're at it. Come on, come on, Maggie. We also have to pay the bills at some point. Oh, boy. Come on, Maggie. What are you doing? Where even are you? Oh, there she is. Okay. Get in. Get in. So, yeah, I really like the idea of having the pet bath out here. Um, It's very helpful. Virgos have plus 17.5 chemistry points with Gemini. Okay, that's good. 17.5 with Libras. We gotta find, we're gonna call him over. And we're gonna see how it goes. If I could find somebody she didn't hate that she had at least one bolt with, I would go for it. Cause she is very hard to match. <laughs> She's very, she just hates everybody. Okay, there we go. So we gotta feed the animals. The animals are number one in her life. She always puts them first. Yeah, I know. No kidding. I wish I wish my dog would just jump right in, too. That's why we just take our dogs to the groomer most of the time. But sometimes we do have to give them a bath in between groomings. But Mr. Pleasant does that. I don't do it. <laughs> and our dogs are usually really good in the bath, too. Um. Okay, but they don't like it. And they don't just jump in. That's for sure. Okay, let's call a sim. Now, I know he's not going to come over right now. Oh, look, she became friends with Aaron. Look at that. She has a friend. I'm so happy. Um, I know he's not going to come over right now, but she can at least chat with him a little bit and we could start getting this relationship going and watch him be completely gay and want nothing to do with this. <laughs> hey, Jordan. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, it is. It's so weird uh, the way the the relationships work. I mean, the as the chemistry works. I can't keep up with it all. I'm just like, show me the bolts. <laughs> okay, so let's see how their relationship is going. All right, so far so good. She's not insulting him on the phone. I am really happy that she made a friend. At least she'll have one friend in her life. She got along with Aaron right away. Like, they just hit it off. She started gossiping to her. Even though Aaron was like, I don't really care to hear your gossip, Catherine. She still ended up liking her enough to be friends with her. <laughs> yeah, I know, Olya. Just staring up at you with those eyes. <laughs> like, please let me out. Okay, well, things are going okay. Maybe tomorrow, um, I think tomorrow we'll have her go back to the pet store. And also running the store is an opportunity for her to meet people in the community and also be a jerk to them, but you know. <laughs> and then, oh, look, they're friends now. Holy crap, that was fast. Hold on, hang up. Wait, how tired is she? Oh, she's pretty tired. Okay, I'm just gonna let them talk today. And then, so tomorrow she's gonna go open the shop up. Or maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what day were we open? We were open on Monday. And we were off on Tuesday. So, yeah, I think we're going to open Wednesday. Wednesday 10 to 6. And we'll see who we can meet. Yeah, she had... Well, she was off today. So, yeah, she was off today on Tuesday. And she's going to be off on Thursday, too. But we're going to open tomorrow. And then on, so on Thursday, tomorrow if she has time, if not Thursday, uh, we're going to call Kai over and see, see what we can do. Um, I don't really know, Miles. I don't really know what dog type is best for a first time owner. I know one thing, don't get a Shiba Inu <laughs> for your first breed because they're, they're difficult, too. I think something like, um, yeah, a mutt, a mutt, just a good old fashioned mutt. That's what I have. And my dogs are the best. <laughs> I hope she does get along with her customers tomorrow. Also, if you wanted to get a certain breed of dog, 
Miles, I think uh, golden retrievers are very good uh, dogs. They're very, they're not too hard to deal with. Yeah, labs, any kind of lab mix would be good. Labs can be, labs and golden retrievers can be a little energetic, but as long as you have room for them. If she wanted to watch TV, okay, you know what, you need to go to bed. Let's go ahead and go to bed. I think we'll have the maid come over probably only on her days off. Oh, we got another stinky dog out there. Oh, we got a stinky dog house. Unless um, we can get her over at like 630 in the morning. We'll see how it goes. I'm t I don't like Cocker Spaniels because I got bit by one when I was a kid. <laughs> When I've only been bitten by a dog twice in my life, and one when I, when I was whenever I was like five years old, and my grandma had a cocker spaniel and it bit my hand. But then you know, I, it could have just been because I was a jerky little kid trying to mess with a dog that didn't want me to mess with it. <laughs> oh, Labradoodles, they're so cute. I love poodles too. I love standard poodles. I would love to have a big old poodle. Oh, she wants to take her daily bath when she gets up, too. She loves taking her baths on her days off. Okay, let's check on the cats. How are the cats doing uh, with their relationship? Oh, they're not friends yet. Dang it. Okay, Chompy, come here. Come here, Chomps. Go play with me so some more. Let's become friends, okay? We need some kittens. <laughs> oh, you had a standard poodle. I love all dogs, really. I mean, there's no dog that I don't like. But I am par very partial to Shih Tzus. Okay. No, what am I doing? Don't clean yourself. Where's the other cat? Oh, did they become friends? Is that friends? Wait. No. Are, what does that mean? <laughs> I don't get it because I have a little paw here, but not on Miso's. Are not on chomps. Aww. <laughs> oh no, you got bit by chihuahuas. Aww. I love chihuahuas. I love little dogs. I love all dogs, but I really love little dogs. <laughs> oh yeah, Bichons are so sweet. I think I like Bichons probably second to Shih Tzus for me. I like them because they don't shed. And also, they're just sweet little love balls. Little love muffins. Okay, Chompsy. Where's Miso? Miso! Where are you? Oh, are you in the stinky doghouse? Oh my god, you totally are. You totally are. Well, we gotta get Miso up to... Or we gotta get Chomps up to friend level. Stop yowling. Stop yelling and play. Come on. Come on now. Come on. Oh, I don't know with these two. It's taken forever. Okay, there we go. Chomps, chomps, chomps. Come here. After you finish in the bathroom, play, play. You're so close. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a one-sided relationship right now. Okay, play. There we go. My favorite cats, I like a black and white tuxedo cat are my favorite cats. I just really like the the uh, markings. But I love all cats too. Especially my black cat, Lazo. <laughs> Come on. Oh, so close. So close. Play again. I'm never going to stop this. Are they not? You know what? I think it is. It's because the litter box is on a, uh, it's on a walkthrough block. See that? That's probably the problem. Hey, I just got rid of that puddle. I'll move it out here. I don't think there's enough room. Maybe I need to extend this bathroom a little bit. Okay, what are you doing? You're going to survey? Survey the land? Okay, whatever, cats. Whatever. Do whatever you want. I can't control you. He's good, oh yeah. He got his rabies shot, and he w that went really well. Like he didn't seem any difference when different once he got back from that. 
Okay, time to go eat breakfast. Um, but Wednesday, he's going to get neutered. And I'm so nervous about it. Yeah, Siamese always like to talk, don't they? Laszlo is very talkative. He, ta he constantly talks. Every time he enters a room, he has to let us know that he's come into the room. So he chirps. He chirps as he walks in. It's so cute. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be a cone kitty. I love talkative cats. And we got really lucky with Laszlo. He talks all the time. And of course, if he wants attention or he wants food or anything, he lets you know very loudly. <laughs> And he wants his treat every day. He gets, like, we give him a treat every day at lunchtime, and he's gotten used to that. So if we're late, he's in there. He's, like, talking to us. Like, where's my treat? <laughs> oh, that's so cute, Montana. <laughs> okay, you need to fill up these bowls. Um, What else do we need to do this morning before we head off? Let's check on all the pets. Okay, that one's going to need a bath when we get home today, but everybody else is doing okay. So I'm just going to have her fill up the dog bowl. We need to get the gardener over here on her. Um, tomorrow on her day off, we're going to get the gardener and the maid over here. Pull up those weeds. All right, and you know what? Pay the bills, too, while you're while you're doing chores, and then we'll head over to the store. She's going to have to restock today. Hello. Hello, Bruno. Oh, does she know Bruno? Hold on. Hold on. Does she know Bruno? She doesn't. But Bruno is gay, isn't he? Ah, oh, crap. I think he's gay. <laughs> I do. I do. No, he's bi. He's bi. <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. <laughs> Greet Bruno. He's bi, so it could work. Let's see. He's thinking about adopting a kid. That's right. He's a family sim. And she's out here just in her undies. Hello. Oh, no, that's not him. Never mind. They got, they have two bolts. Holy crap. Hold on. What? It's, he's insulting her. And they have two bolts together. Ah, oh, crap, guys. No, no, don't, don't ruin this. Don't ruin this. Okay? Just chat. For God's sake. For God's sake, Catherine. <laughs> he annoyed, he insulted her. Yeah, because she has a bad reputation. Yep. <sighs> He's like, hey, I heard about, I heard about you. And she's like, no, give me a chance. I just hate everybody else. I don't hate you. <laughs> It's only Catherine. She's the only one. Everybody's mean to her because she's mean to everybody else. But she's got two freaking bolts with Bruno. I don't think we can get any better than this. We have to see if they can get along and she can go on a date with him. She just walked right up into his into her yard. Or he just walked right up into her yard. I feel bad for her bad reputation too. But I mean, she did earn it. She is, oh, He doesn't like soda. He's like, no, I hate junk food. I'm a healthy sim. All right, well, that's cool. Um, let's see. Let's tell him a joke. Let's tell him a joke. I got a joke for you. Listen to this, Bruno. She can redeem herself. She can, although I don't think she will for long. <laughs> she has a friend and she has, oh, their relationship just went down. What the heck? Um, let's admire him. No, get back over here. We're going to be working on this relay. She's got to go to work. <laughs> she's got to go to work. Um, she's going to be opening, opening up late today. Let's see. Um, let's gossip. Let's see who she gossips about. The mailbox? What about it? <laughs> she used to pay. She's uh, gossiping about Robin. Oh, he liked it. He liked the gossip because he's a police officer and she was gossiping about the burglar and he liked it. <laughs> okay, we have just a few more minutes. She's going to have to go to work. Um, let's see. Share interests. Let's see if they have any interests in common. Oh, 
No. Oh, she keeps talking to him about like ice cream and soda and he hates that. So I don't think he has an interest in food. Is that what she was trying to talk to him about? I think it's food he's not interested in. Um, let's see. What else could we do? Do a school cheer. Oh, he really disliked that. He really disliked it. It's like one step forward, two steps back with this. Go Gerbits! Okay, he likes the Gerbits. He liked the Gerbits. She has she doesn't like Royce either. So move along, Royce. This is not for you. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just gonna have them chat one more time. Let's just chat one more time. Wow, uh, Royce did not like Bruno. I'm not gonna let him slip away. This is her only chance. This is her only chance for the date that she wants. Um, she's gonna talk to him today. She's gonna go to work and then tomorrow she's gonna be off and she's gonna see if she can go on a date with Bruno. He doesn't have black hair, but she still has two bolts with him. So I guess that doesn't bother her. He does not look interested in her music talk. Um, but yeah, he, he responded positively to that. I know, but she's got to go run that. I want to, I want to keep the hours on the, on the bakery. And this will also give her a chance to think about this situation. He could be, it could be. Although I don't think he has any skills. I don't think I gave him any skills yet. Okay, well, that's good. She's got to go to work now. Nice to meet you, Bruno. We are going to be seeing you very soon. We're going to be seeing you very soon indeed. She's hung. She didn't get, no way. She didn't get to take her bath. She's got to go take a quick shower. She got distracted by Bruno and now she's going to be opening the store late today. <laughs> oh, the mailbox. Oh, it's float. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying, Kristen. Oh, it is floating. No, no. There we go. <laughs> That's my fault. I must've put it on there crooked. She is so mean, I know. It's crazy. Um, she's like, sure, you can come in and watch my TV while I get ready for work. Sorry to everybody who wanted to buy a pet today. And I'm gonna have her grab um, something to eat too before she goes because she's gonna be there till 6 p.m. And this will give this relationship a chance to like ruminate here. Wow, he's thinking about that she's hot and he's thinking about getting engaged. Oh my God, I think this might work. I think this might work out. <laughs> oh yes, we should spawn an ACR adjuster. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Let's change it to an orchid and let's move it to her bedroom. She's got two things to play. I'm gonna give her another nightstand, actually. Just spending her money here. I'm gonna give her another nightstand. I'm gonna put it on there. There we go. Okay, so she's got to get to the pet store. She's already gonna be two hours late opening. See, there's Diana. Okay, let's go ahead and change Diana's hair, guys, because she has the same hair as Paige, but I think it looks better on Paige. <laughs> so we're gonna change Diana's hair real quick while she's here. Um, let's change appearance. Now, we were actually technically supposed to play Diana today, but I skipped over her because we don't have any children in the orphanage. And she runs the orphanage, so there wouldn't really be that much for her to do. So I'm kind of trying to wait to play her. And um, she looks really cute with those short bangs, though, doesn't she? Maybe we can get her another hair. Oh, that's the same hairstyle. <laughs> Maybe we can get her another hairstyle with those little bangs. I like that on her. Um, I'm looking for bangs, looking for bangs. No, nah, I don't like that one on her. I don't like that one either. She, that makes her look like, she looks like Gail from Bob's Burgers with that hairstyle. <laughs> yeah, ponytail is very fashionable in, in Edgewood. It's very trendy right now. Um, so there's, there's a ponytail that's different. That kind of looks cute on her, but I want to see if I can find the bangs. That's okay. That's kind of a weird hairstyle. She looks like a mean school receptionist. <laughs> She's actually very nice and sweet, though. She's going to take care of all of our, our children. All of our poor children who don't have anywhere to live. 
Okay, that hairstyle does not look good on her, on her face. Um, that one's okay. No, definitely not the pigtails. Mm, I'm having a hard time. Oh, I like that on her. It's got like a, oh, it's got a transparency streak in it, though. All right, hold on. Hold on, I'm still looking. We gotta find something perfect for her. She looks like an egg in the hair. <laughs> Catherine had the ponytail first. Oh, that other ponytail? Yeah, I think she did. I might end up giving that to her. I don't know, that looks cute. The bob looks cute on her. She needs definitely needs something around her face. No, I like the bob on her. <laughs> we have the same hairs, yeah. <laughs> I like the bob so far. Oh, no, this one. Here it is. We're going to give her this. Does anybody have this hair? I don't think they do. I'm going to give her this hair. I like that one. I like that. I like this one the best. I like the uh, bangs, and I like that it's up in a bun, so she's gonna have to take care of kids a lot. So I think we're gonna give this one to her. Yes. Okay. See you later, Diana. We'll be playing you later at a later date. <laughs> so back to Catherine. She's eating her uh, lunch here, and man, you are so late. You are so late. No, don't clean that up. We'll have the maid over tomorrow. You're going to have a line outside the door demanding that you sell them a pet. Oh, my God. Bruno was out there cleaning. Did you see that? <laughs> Bruno's out there cleaning the doghouse. Thank you, Bruno. See, he would be so perfect for her because he's a family sim, so he would love to help and take care, help take care of all the animals. And he he's a police officer, so his job, it wouldn't interfere too much with her job. It would be perfect if they end up together. I really hope this works out. <laughs> yes, it's Lucy Burb hair. Yes, it is. <laughs> I really hope this works out for her. I don't see any other options for her at this point. He would be good with Diana too. Yeah, he would. That's true. <laughs> but <laughs> Diana's too late. <laughs> Diana's too late. Catherine's gonna lock him down first. That's true. He could bring in more strays. I love that idea that he finds out in the neighborhood. <laughs> okay, here we go. She's going to open up now. She's got to go in and restock this stuff. Um, and we're going to do that while we're waiting on our customers to come in, I guess. Or, you know what? Then we'll open the business after we restock. She's really going to be late today. Oh, let's restock this too. I think that's everything that we sold. Oh, restock. I think that's everything. Nobody bought anything from upstairs. Nobody even went upstairs. Hmm. Okay, so then once she restocks, then she's going to open. And we'll be open for a couple hours today. That's the good thing about being a small business. Oh, she missed one. Is you can pretty much open whenever you want. But it's costing her money to do this restocking, so we have to try and make some of this up. Um, well, Catherine met somebody, so I don't know if you met, met that, if you missed that, Nikki. Catherine met somebody just walking past her house. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, that's right. Okay, she was talking on the phone to Kai. I forgot about that. I was like, how do they get to be such good friends all of a sudden? So she's not quite friends with Bruno, but we're, we're getting there. Okay, store's open. Um, she's got to run to the bathroom. Why can I not see how long I've been streaming? This thing doesn't show me how long I've been streaming. That's weird. I'm trying to see, uh... Hey, it does not show me. That is very weird. Okay, I'll just have to look at the clock. It's 12 o'clock. 11.55. <laughs> We've still got one hour left. We can make this happen. 
Oh no, Marta. Oh, that's so sad. Oh my gosh, he's he's Royce is up here looking at something. 114 minutes. All right. <laughs> Yeah, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, that's all, so far it's only happened to me once and you guys saw it. But that is really sad, Marta. Oh, 20 minutes. Oh, my God. <laughs> I have been streaming for two hours, right? It's like 12, so. Caspian's pregnant with an alien baby. Oh, I love it. Wait, what is she doing? Are you appreciating the hand dryer in the bathroom? Okay, that's cool. Um, anyway, <laughs> I don't think she made a sale. Let's go see if anybody's downstairs. Oh, Nora's here and oh my God, it's Ravi. <laughs> oh no, Ravi. <laughs> she wants to kill you, Ravi. So, oh, I don't know. Let's. I'm not even gonna try to do a basic sale on him. I'm just gonna let it, leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, convince me I've been streaming for 20 minutes. Dang, still got three hours to go, guys. <laughs> All right, come on, come on. Please don't get in a fight with Ravi. Ravi is so cute. Look at him. He's so. How could she dislike him? He's so cute. Oh, nor no, he just bought something. He just bought that dog painting. Everybody loves that thing. Um, okay, let's ring him up. Try to be civil, okay, Catherine? Let's try to be civil. He's spending money at your store. So just ring him up and let him go, please. Nora! No, what do you mean my business is losing favor? <gasps> what? Why did our business rank go down to zero? Nora, you were driving me crazy with this. Oh my god, why did we lose rank? Oh, it just went back up to rank one. <laughs> okay, I guess it was Nora. She was pissing somebody off. She was pissing Ravi off. Okay, there we go. I might have to end up moving these. I might have to switch these to the other side. Um, because she can anytime somebody looks at those, they're in the way of the register. Yeah, it's because Ravi hates her. Yep. You're absolutely right. Okay, there. He just spent a hundred bucks in here, though. Thanks a lot, Ravi. Thanks a lot. Now, I'm going to switch these over and see if that helps. Like, I'm going to switch this shelf over to here and put the collars over here. Oops, wrong way. Um, that way, maybe they'll stand over here if they're going to look at this stuff. Okay, let's try again. Let's try to do a basic sell. Oh, we can do a practice on. We're going to practice on you, Nora. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but we're going to practice on you. Yeah, Ravi must have some influence. He's like, I'm going to see your store shut down. <laughs> okay, she's selling and practicing sales. She's not doing too hot. She's not doing too hot at the sales. <laughs> Is Roy still up here? He is still up here looking at this rug. Is it really that big of a decision, Royce? Do you want the rug or not? Oh no, our business went down to zero. <laughs> She's doing terrible. She's doing terribly. No, stop selling to her. Stop it. Stop it. Okay. Oh, there's Kai. Hey, Kai. Let's go greet him. Do I have a sim blender in here? I do. Let's check his gender preference, guys, because I don't remember. Um, let's see. Traits. Kai. Gender preference. Show preferences. Kai is gay. <laughs> you guys were right. He is completely and utterly 100% gay. So, yeah. Kai is not uh, a prospective uh, partner for her. Okay. But she can still be friends with him, though. Because she, does, she doesn't hate him, so that's something. Okay, so she's going to ring up Royce. What, he finally did buy something. What did he buy? Oh, he bought that rug. Kai's up here. You're going to buy the fish decoration on the wall. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have put that up for sale. She's just desperate to make money. She's like, I'll sell anything in here. <laughs> 
He's 500% gay. Yes, he is. <laughs> okay, 155 simoleons for that rug. You just got ripped off, Royce. <laughs> you just got ripped off. How are we doing? Okay, we still have a deficit today because of all the restocking. Come on, Nora. Come on, buy something already. You're so indecisive. And she's gonna go check out a painting. All right, whatever. She needs social too. 500% gay is a mood. <laughs> I love Kai. See, I think we were hoping that Kai and Bruno would get together, but obviously that's not gonna happen. Kai's gonna have to find somebody else. Who else do we have for him? So Bruno and Franklin are taken, okay? And we've got, but we still have, we still have a uh, Royce. No, not Royce. Robin. Robin is gay. And Paige is bisexual. So I think Robin and Ravi. Robin and Ravi are two possibilities for Kai. <laughs> hey, look, there's Christina. Is Gabriel bi? I didn't remember that. Let me see. Is gay? I don't know if he is. Um, I think Ra I would like Ravi and Kai together. That's what I would like. But I'm going to let them choose, of course. But we'll have to see. We'll have to see. Christina is looking for a wall rat to take back to the commune. <laughs> she does. She's shopping all over town. <laughs> I think that um, Anthony sends her out to get the get the stuff that he wants. Oh, did she buy it? Nope, that was Kai. Okay, we gotta go downstairs. It's getting late. She's gonna have to close soon. Um, I think she's gonna go ahead. What is she doing? Cleaning up. Oh, she must have had an instant meal. She had an instant meal. Okay, once she uh, throw. Oh, we need a trash can inside. She doesn't have a trash can. She's gotta walk all the way out here. Um, to throw away her trash. So let's let's go ahead and get a trash can here. Let's see. She's gonna get a cheap one. She doesn't have that much money. And I'm gonna put it in her office. Okay. And then finally, it's time for her to close up shop and ring up her customers. And I don't know, we might have lost money today. We'll see what happens after we ring everybody up. I don't know if Christina got to buy anything. She came in. Oh, she did. Christina's thinking about babies and she just bought a Walmart. <laughs> All right, Christina. So when we get back to the commune, there's going to be a new pet. <laughs> okay. Come on. Ring everybody. Oh my God. There's no lights in here. <laughs> I was like, why is it so dark? I put lights upstairs, but I didn't put lights downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, hold on. I gotta put lights in here. Yeah, this is her way to network. D yeah, that could definitely be. Okay, we need a couple lights down here because nobody can see anything. Jeez, Cindy. I think I'm gonna. S I think I'm gonna move these out a little bit more like this. There we go. Now we can see. <laughs> Yeah, the electric bills do. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know Christina. Jeez. <laughs> She's looking at her watch. Like, God, hurry up. I got to get back to Anthony. <laughs> She's got to get back to Anthony. Okay. Ooh, 259 simoleons. Thank you, Christina. A Kai, no, Kai, no. <laughs> That's the second time he's done that. Oh my god, he has no patience. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That happened in Nora's store and now it happened in the pet store. He has no patience at all. He just gets mad and leaves. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, well, it looks like we kind of broke even today. <laughs> So time to go home. Time to go home. What a day. 
He's a very demanding customer. He is. He is. We got to be careful with him. He does. He needs to be first. Because that's the second time he stormed out. And I don't know what he bought either. Oh, he bought a freaking fish tank. He bought a freaking fish tank and we didn't get to buy it. And we didn't get to sell it to him. Dang it. That would have been a nice addition to the firehouse, I think. Yeah, how dare you make me stand in line? <laughs> well, I don't know what to say, Kai. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm doing my best. I'm only one person running this store. <laughs> he just has no patience. I don't know where, where he's going to go in the future. Oh, there goes Bruno. Bye, Bruno. Okay, let's see if we can work on the cat relationship a little bit here. Um, okay, they're both in the same room together, so that's good. Chomps, I want you to play. I want you to play. Okay, they're friends. I think they're friends. Oh my god, they're friends, yes! Okay, so what do you have to do after they're friends? That's right, Pixel. He has to go, go, go. He doesn't have time to stand in line. He's a firefighter. <laughs> Um, okay, so they're friends now. So can they just go and mate now? <laughs> or what? They Do they have to relax in here? Okay, Maggie, get out of here. We need this. We need this. Oh, you have to use the sim to encourage them to breed? Okay. Well, good. Whenever uh, she gets home, we can start working on that. So I'm just going to fast forward now. We have to have her. So she also needs to be friends with them too, I think. Is that? Oh, no. Because she's not friends with them. Yes, I think you're right, Marta. I think you're right. I just realized that whenever uh, Pixel said that. I think she has to also have a good relationship with them. Man, breeding animals is not easy. This must be why I've never done it. <laughs> so she, we need to have her spend some time with Miso and Chomps too. Because I don't think they can just go breed. I wish we could just have them go breed. But no, I don't think they can. We have to have her spend some time with them too. So, well, we got the first step down. And is that they have a good relationship with each other. I have the, I have the mod that lets me control them. Um, but it still doesn't let me breed, like have them breed. Unless I'm doing it wrong. So I don't know. She needs a love life too. I know it's tough. It's tough. <laughs> Just one of the two pets is fine for her to be friends. Okay, that would be good. That would be good. Who's she closest to um, in her relationship? 20 over 20. 24. She's closest to Chomps, I think. Let's check hers. She's closest to Chomp, so we're going to work on that. Chompy. You have a mod that lets you do that? I need to see. I might have a different mod than you. Or I might just be using a cheat. I don't know. Yeah, I need to see if I can find one that lets me. Let's me make them breed. <laughs> oh, crap. We still haven't paid the bills either. She's going to have to pay the bills when she gets home. The house is a mess. We're going to have to call Paige over tomorrow. So that she can work on other stuff. Yeah, let me know, Nikki, if you find out. I'm going to pay these bills real quick. She needs social, so this would be a really good time for her to uh, socialize with Chomps. So let's give love. Give love. Um, play. Finger wiggle. Play. Toss in air. Play. Cat teaser. All right. Let's go spend some time with Chompy Chomps. She identifies more with chomps. Yeah, I can totally see that. <laughs> All right, there we go. And let's watch this relationship too. Once she becomes friends with chomps, then our next step is to have chomps and Miso go out to the doghouse and have a little kitty woohoo. <laughs> Evening with chomps, tomorrow with Bruno. That's right. Well, oh, that didn't go well. Whatever just happened there. 
Oh, come on. Oh, okay, that went really well. So whatever, I think she did cat. I don't know what she did, but he didn't like it. Well, that went well. Um, let's see. She's getting pretty hungry, but let's let's do one more round of uh, giving love, feed, treat, and um, hug, and then one more play session with the cat teaser, and then we'll take care of her and send her to bed. I know. I think they'll make some cute kittens too i can't wait to see what they're gonna look like and then we'll have kittens available for adoption for the neighborhood and that'll be really cool and then i think once we get rid of the kittens then we either need to get a small dog or a large dog um so we can start working on the getting some puppies getting some puppies but i don't want to do that until we have the kittens and get rid of the kittens one litter at a time is all we need <laughs> Oh, it was Midge? Okay, thanks, Nikki. That'd be very helpful for us next time. Oh, look. Oh, they're friends now. Oh, my God. They're friends now. Can we do it now? <gasps> Try for kitten with Miso. Yes. Try for kitten with Miso. Okay. We got it. <laughs> we got it. Come on. You know you want to try for kitten with Miso. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. Are they going to go? Are they going to go? Try for offspring. Oh, they're going to go. They're going to go. Oh, my God. Yay. <laughs> yes, yes. We might have kittens, guys, very soon. Look, Miso is friends with Josie. How cute. Or, yeah, Miso. Miso's friends with Josie. That's so cute. <gasps> no, no. Get out of there. Oh, hold on. Hold on. No, Josie. Get out. Get out. Get out, please. We need to use this. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, hold on. We got to try this again. We got to try this again. Um. Okay. Try for kitten with Miso. And then she needs to go give uh, Josie a bath. There we go. Let's try this again. I didn't realize that the uh, doghouse was occupied. No, Josie, get no, 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 no. Get out. <laughs> oh no, what is happening? Oh my God, look at Chomps. <laughs> Chompsy, no. Oh my God. Oh, this is not working. Chomps does, and Mag, Maggie's not very nice, okay? Mags, stop it. This is getting difficult, all right? We're trying to make something happen here. So I need Josie to get out. And I need these two to go try for kitten again, okay? So this is just not working for me. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Reset the wall. Um, try for kitten with Miso. Oh my gosh, poor Chomps. Poor Chomps. Maggie, you just need to go, you know what? Go get something to eat, okay? Oh, there's no food. Oh my God, there's no food. <laughs> I'm doing terribly here. I'm just trying to get this, this to happen. I'm just trying to get this to work. Don't you dare try to go back in that in that doghouse. I'm watching you. I'm watching you, Josie. Okay, let's go give Josie a bath. Um, actually, let's fill the dog bowl and let's give Josie a bath. Oh my God. She's going to be out here all night at this rate. Don't you go in that doghouse, Josie. I see you thinking about it. Don't you go in there. Okay, so she's going to give Josie a bath, and we're going to have Maggie go and eat. And that should keep the dogs away from the doghouse long enough for Miso and Chomps to go do their thing. No, no, no. Are you? Why are you not washing the dog? Okay, you are. All right, good. Here they go. Here they go, guys. It's happening now. <laughs> Come on. Yay. Okay, it's working. It's working. I'm so excited. I can't wait. Our first litter of kittens. We may not get a baby this time, but at least we can get some kittens. <laughs> now, we may not see them born by the end of the stream, but I hope so. I hope so. There they go. 
There they go. And then it's anywhere, you guys said anywhere from two to four days that we're gonna have a we're gonna have kittens. Wait, which one is the female? Chomps? I, I can never remember what the male and I, this I sound so stupid, but I always get the male and female symbols mixed up. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, you need a bath too. Crap. You need a bath too. Oh, <sighs> these animals. Okay. Let's wash uh, Maggie and then we've got to go to bed. Miso's the female. Oh, Miso's the female. Okay, well, we're going to be watching Miso for signs of pregnancy. <laughs> Kitty woos. Okay, come on, hurry up, hurry up here. And then she's got to fill all the rest of the bowls because everybody's waiting in line for that bowl. Feed bowl, fill bowl, and fill bowl, and you've got to go to sleep. Oh my god, it's almost two in the morning. Whew. She's just going to go straight to bed after she gets done uh, with the food bowls. So, yeah, it's already getting pretty rough on her here. It would be really nice to have Bruno around to help her uh, taking care of the animals when he's not working at his job. The maid has a lot of work to do. I know. I know. She's going to get paid well tomorrow. <laughs> She's going to be paid very well. Okay, I'm going to save right here because we don't want to lose any of the progress we've made here. And I don't know, how do you know that your cat's pregnant? Do they get symptoms? This is truly my first time ever breeding animals in The Sims 2. And it's kind of a pain in the butt, but I think it's going to be so worth it when we get those little kittens. She does have a lot on her plate. No, you can't go out there, Miso. You can't go out there. It's hard to tell if the pets are pregnant. Oh, you look to see if they can still try. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. We'll check tomorrow and see. So I'm gonna speed us speed us up through the night here. I think all the animals are doing okay for the moment. Now Catherine's not doing okay. She's hungry. She's gotta go to the bathroom, take her bath. Um, so Thursday, she's gonna be off. So we're open, I'm just gonna write this down, Monday and Wednesday, 10 to six so far, and she's off Tuesday and Thursday. So we have a whole day tomorrow to focus on Bruno and hopefully getting this relationship somewhere between the two of them. Oh, you don't use silent pregnancy, so you know thanks to the times. <laughs> yes, first pet breeding, my first pet breeding stream. <laughs> Okay, get to the bathroom, and we got to get the maid over here right now. So it's 7.30. I'm just going to round that to 7.30. And let's go ahead and teleport her over. Um, I don't think she knows her well enough to invite her over. I would like it better if she could call her up and invite her over, but whatever. We're teleporting her. She's showing up for her day's work. Um, let's see. Layton, Paige. All right, we're going to make Paige selectable. Oh, what did I just do? I don't know what I just clicked on. Hopefully nothing bad. And um, let's go ahead and have her clean. And we will watch for her to be done. So she started at 730. I'm going to write that down so I don't forget. 730. Oh, no, your game crashed. Oh. Yeah, I would really hate if they had to try again, to be honest. But they may have to. Let's click on, um... Who's in here fighting? It's Chomps and Maggie again. You two... I swear... Okay, once they finish fighting, I'm gonna see if I can click on Chomps. Chomps, where are you? I can't find you in this dust cloud. Oh, Chomps won that one. Okay, well, when I click on Chomps, I cannot choose uh, Try for Kitten with. So I think that we got, I think that we were successful. I think that we were successful. Okay, she needs to go eat. She needs to go eat. 
So we also have to keep an eye on Chompers. Or on Miso, I mean. Let's go eat. Whew. Let's get those leftovers. What a day. What a time. What a time to be alive. <laughs> I did all. Yeah, I just saved a second ago. We're good. Furry babies. Yep, Miso is pregnant. Pregnant. Miso is pregnant. I hope. Did she pay the bills? Yeah. Okay, so once she finishes her day and the maid is done, or once she gets ready for the day and the maid is done, then we're going to call up Bruno and see if Bruno wants to go on a date. So we can fulfill her want to go on a date and see how the relationship is going to go with Bruno. I really think he might be her only hope for a partner, so I really hope things go well. <laughs> Ricky got Sandy Broody pregnant in your game. <laughs> Yeah, me too, Christina. I want to see those kitties. I want to see those kitties. We have two days left in fall. I don't know if we're going to get to see them. Oh, she wants to be friends with Lily. Aw. Okay, I'm not looking at you, though. I'm just watching until you finish cleaning. She's cleaning up the, uh, the newspapers now. Mail sign is pointed up. That's, I, I always, you know what, that's a good way to remember it, because I always try to remember it like the female sign is pointed down, like, and I try to remember it like a dress, but that doesn't stick in my mind for some reason. So yeah, I like the male signs pointed up like an, like a flagpole. <laughs> okay, Catherine, oh, Catherine, oh. You shouldn't be cleaning. Your maid is here. Why are you cleaning? Stop cleaning. And you didn't get enough to eat? Oh my god. Eat another bowl of soup then. She wants to buy new clothes. <laughs> Flagpole, that's right. <laughs> Oh, thank you, Paige, for filling in that hole. Oh, and we all, after she eats, we also need to fill the, or I'm going to let her clean those. I'm going to let her clean the bowls. She's working today. She's almost been working for three hours. <laughs> okay, are you done? Okay, I think she's done. But you know what? You're not done. You need to clean this. Clean this and fill this. And also, while you're here... Why don't you just pull these weeds for me, okay? I'll pay you extra for that. I don't want to hire the gardener right now for that. You can just do that for me. Bills are due again? Dang! We just paid those bills. <laughs> we just paid them. So as soon as she's done with these uh, weeds, then I'm going to pay her 1040. So we're going to round that to 1030. Um, so let's see, three hours. So 150 simoleons. So I'm going to make her unselectable. Um, we're going to have Catherine go and say goodbye. I wish, you know what? I think she needs to talk to her every time. Like, just chat with her, then say goodbye. That way she can sort of get to know her since she is her maid. Then ask to leave, and then we're going to go pay our bill of 150 simoleons. So I'm going to go ahead and press play while she's doing that. So we're going to bank online, um, transmit money, two household funds of a playable sim oh we can't do 150 so we're gonna have to round it to 200. we have to round it to 200. she's getting paid good today <laughs> that's all we can do um so she's so far been paid 300 simoleons this week wow she's get, she's making some good money if, imagine how much she's gonna make cleaning everybody's house <laughs> Yes, okay, chat a little bit, say goodbye, pay your bill, take your shower, or take your bath that you want to take, your bubble bath. And then we're calling up Bruno, dang it. All right. She got a tip, yes, she got a tip. She got a tip for doing the, the gardening work. Because actually she ended up saving money because she didn't have to hire a gardener over here. Um, okay, so let's see. Where are you, Paige? There you are. Okay, very good. Now, uh, while you're here, oh, never mind. 
Never mind. Just go take your bath. Whatever. I was going to say pay the bills, but that's all right. That's all right. <laughs> okay, come on. Come on. Hurry up. We want to get some action going here. Oh, what does she want to do now? A bunch of pleasure stuff. Okay, she's ready. She's ready. Let's call up Bruno and ask him on a date. And I swear, if they try for baby as soon as he gets over here, I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> come on. Come on. All right. Bruno it is. I'm just going to go straight up ask him on a date. Like, and he said yes. He said yes. And we're going to do it here. We're going to do it here because we really don't have anywhere else to go. Okay, he's going to gussy up and come right over. She's going to get ready by watching some TV. Uh-oh, this, this thing is dirty. The maid didn't clean that. Okay, so he wants to fall in love, y'all. He wants to fall in love and get a job. So let's see if we can have them fall in love. She's coming out to greet him. <laughs> I'm so excited. She will definitely be bold. She is, she's a very blunt kind of person. She's not going to beat around the bush. She's going to be like, hey, you want to get together or what? <laughs> she doesn't play hard to get. Okay, let's see. Fill up, pillow fight talk. Okay, let's just chat first. Let's, let's chat a little bit. Oh my God. No, okay. Well, never mind. <laughs> you guys know what's happening. You already know what's going on. They're going, st I was going to have them chat and they're like, nope, we're going straight to the couch. <laughs> I swear if they try for baby right now. Do not try for baby. I just know they're going to. Peck. Oh, I like your undies. Those are cute, Catherine. <laughs> they do not waste any time. Kiss romantically. Oh, they just... Oh, try for freaking baby. They're trying for baby. They sure are. Well... We might have kittens and another surprise on our hands. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I guess this seals the deal. <laughs> this seals the deal, y'all. <laughs> I know that's all they do. They try for baby immediately. Everybody who goes on a date. <laughs> a hairless kitten. Well, okay, let's try to like get on with the date now. Jeez, you want to chat a little bit, you think? You want to get to know each other first? <laughs> yes, they tried for baby pixel. Yes, they did. <laughs> I knew they were going to. Entertain and play. Okay, let's uh tell let's just tell a regular joke. And let's do a sexy tickle. Yeah, I can't believe, I mean, I can believe it, but it's like, guys, this is your first date. You just met each other. You barely have a crush on each other, but you know what? Why don't you just go ahead and put a baby in me? <laughs> They're ready to repopulate this, this area. Yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, they do. They have to repopulate and they're pairing up too. So, you know, Catherine, I'm happy that she found Bruno because really she had no other prospects. So this is going to work out well for her. Yeah, they just get, they're getting that out of the way. And now they can focus on getting to know each other. <laughs> okay, come on now. Um, I'm actually curious about who we're going to play. Oh, we're playing Anna Louisa next. So Anna is, owns, the gro owns the supermarket, which means I have to finish the supermarket before our next stream. Yeah. Oh, she wants to make out with him. Okay. And, you know, maybe she didn't... Maybe she didn't get pregnant, you know? She probably did. She probably freaking did. I'm trying to get them to make out status. Um, what else do they want to do? Flirt and give back rub. All right, let's do that. Flirt. Um, let's give a back rub. Yeah, let's have a baby first, and then we'll get to know each other. Um, probably, Marta. I don't know how... I don't know yet if I want to make them all live in a townhouse, or maybe I'll make them into apartments. 
townhouse apartments. That way we can play them separately. But I have to look at the townhouses you made too. They look really good in the pictures you gave me. But I haven't looked at them in the game yet. But I will be looking at them very soon. Have a dream date with Bruno. All right, we can do that. Um, oh, we didn't get to see them have their first kiss. You get over here and have your first kiss. I know you already tried for baby, but we want to see it. <laughs> Aww. Oh, they're gonna have cute kids. They are gonna have cute kids. They're both adorable. I hope she's Pregante too. <laughs> I think they're gonna make really cute babies. Aww. I just wanted to see that for myself. He's ready to fall in love, so we gotta make this happen. Oh, they can make out now. Okay, good. Oh, her needs are going down. Her needs are going down, y'all. Uh, back rub and flirt again. All right. Let's do a suggestion. And let's do a... No, not that. Let's do a back rub. Yeah, this household's gonna be crazy. That's why if she ends up having a baby, Bruno's got to move in with her. Because there's no way she can handle this on her own. All of these animals... Um, all of these animals, the kittens, the baby, the shop, like, she needs help. She needs help. Um, so he's gonna have to be moving in with her. He made the choice to get her pregante, so he's moving in to help, dang it. <laughs> and then I'll have to build the police station so he can go, uh, work there. And we'll, we'll have to make it some kind of little store there that he can go work in. Oh my god, not twins. No, no. I wasn't expecting it either. I don't know why. We should have expected it. Look, he's always cleaning everything. Yes, clean it. Clean it. Oh, dang it. Dang it. I want you to clean that mess. Hug and appreciate. Okay, let's do a hug. Let's do a romantic hug. And a make out. Let's do another make out. Get over here. I gotta lock that in. Slow dance. I don't want to slow dance. Um, pillow fight. Okay, he has no more ones. Oh, they're having a dream date now. Okay, I'm going to end the date. I'm going to end the date. Things went really well. I mean, <laughs> that was the best time he ever had with anybody. Did they fall in love yet? No, not yet. They didn't fall in love yet. She might be pregnant with his baby. Let's clean this. And then I'm pretty sure Miso is pregnant, too. Um, I'm not seeing any signs or anything. Hey, Miso, get over here. Get, no, get out, get off that for a second so she can clean it. <clears throat> oh, yes, I can't send her to work. Thank you, Christina. Yes, I will not send her to work unless, until we know for sure. And then if she is pregnant, she's good. The, she's on maternity leave and the pet store is not open for business right now. Everybody in town's just gonna have to deal with it. They don't have any pets yet anyway, so it's not like they need to buy any animal supplies. <laughs> she's the only one with animals in the whole town. But yeah, we're not sending her to work. Instead, we're gonna keep an eye on her. Her needs are going down, um, but I, it's still like really hard to tell. Let's check on the animals. How's everybody doing? Um, we're gonna have to give Maggie a bath soon. Let's just go ahead and do it while she has the energy because she may not have the energy soon. So let's um, wash Maggie. She's definitely pregnant, you think? <sighs> I hope so. And also I hope, like I, I could go either way. Like, of course I want another baby. But then, then again, I'm like, you just met Bruno. What's wrong with you? <laughs> If she's pregnant, she can't change the kitty litter. Oh, that's a good point. Well, the maid does that anyway. But I'm not going to check. I want to be surprised. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. <laughs> All right, there we go. Mopping it up. Mopping up the water. Um, I think she's pregnant. Look how fast her needs are going down, guys. They're going down really fast. I'm going to have her go to the bathroom. She's going to get some dinner. She's going to have to serve something. Uh, make some mac and cheese. You need something hearty and a lot of it so we can keep your hunger up. 
And then she's gonna fill up all the food bowls and we're gonna send her to bed. And how many days left? We have, we actually have one more day left. Oh, she just gained a cooking skill point. Good for you. She still wants to see Robbie's ghost. <laughs> I think she is Prego though. I think she's Gregnant. All right, put this away because you need these late. You're going to need that later and fill up the food bowls. Let's make sure all the animals have food before you go to bed. Let's just go fill them all up. Let's just go top them all off. And then she's going to go to sleep now. I know we're always going to have an ACR pregnancy. Oh, is somebody calling her? Who is calling? Oh, she got flowers too. She got flowers. Let's put the, can we put the flowers up on the mantle? I don't want them right in the middle. There we go. Maybe it won't block the TV too much. <laughs> okay, let's see who's calling her. Is it Bruno? No, it's Kai. It's her friend Kai. He's like, hey, I heard you went on a date with Bruno. How did it go? He wants all the details, y'all. He's calling for the details. <laughs> I know, Marta. I hit it this morning. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I got 23,000 subs, y'all. I'm so excited. That's so cool. I never thought I would I never thought I would get to 20,000, so I'm really happy about that. Okay, well, she's going to tell him all the details and then she's going to go to We have to watch her though on the phone. My god. Okay, she's done. She's done. No, you don't need you need to go to sleep. You don't need to go on the watch TV. All right, let's go to bed. I had a ridiculous. Oh, he bought her a freaking telescope, y'all. <laughs> he bought her a telescope. <laughs> yeah, he Kai was like, "You weren't mean to him, were you?" Um, I had a ridiculously fun time on our outing. I thought I'd commemorate this event with a gift. Here's a Far Star E3 telescope. <laughs> well, she's a knowledge sim. That is a perfect gift for her. How thoughtful. See, Bruno is so sweet. He knew that she was gonna like this as a knowledge sim. And that's why he bought it for her. So we're gonna put it back here in the backyard. Um, yeah, we'll put it right there. Oh, that's just so sweet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know she can get abducted. I was thinking that too. You know I was thinking that too. <laughs> She can get abducted and have an alien baby, too. I think she'd like that. All right. Well, I don't know. Her hunger doesn't seem to be going down that fast. But we'll see. We'll see if she shows any symptoms today. Yeah, I think so, too, Pixel. I agree with that. She wants to influence someone to clean. Well, you can call the maid back over today. I, I don't know her need. I don't feel like her needs are going down that that fast. It's hard to tell. How's Miso doing? Miso's sleeping outside on the ground. Oh yeah, somebody does need to change the litter box. It's it's looking pretty gross. Um, she can clean it, so I don't think she might not be pregnant. She's able to clean the kitty litter. So, I don't know. And look, she wants to go on another date. I'm locking that, that in, too. Maybe, maybe uh, she can't clean it after she gets her baby bump. There's a lid for every pot, yes. <laughs> Bruno is the sweetest. I agree. So, I don't know. I'm still holding out hope that she's pregnant, but I don't know. Did we make a backstory for her? I don't even think we wrote a bio for her. We didn't. We didn't write a bio for Catherine. <laughs> She's just one of the many who came to Edgewood. <laughs> she came to Edgewood to get, because she, I really feel like she just wants to away from people and she just wants to live in peace with her animals and possibly her one partner, or like one or two close friends. She doesn't like having a lot of people around. So she came to Edgewood so she could get, she applied to come to Edgewood so that she could get, you know, in a smaller place without a lot of people. She could live her life, have her business. That's what I think. 
I definitely think she's been burned a lot of times. Yes. Yes, I think so. She doesn't have time for anybody's crap anymore in her life. We gotta pay these bills. Robbie, you better get out before she sees you out here. <laughs> she wants to see your ghost. You better get away. Okay, I'm gonna go pay the bills. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna pay them up here because I don't want to send her outside right now. Pay bills, go to the bathroom. I think we'll be okay without the maid today. And we're just gonna basically watch out and see if she shows any pregnancy symptoms. It's like really hard for me to tell at this point. And let's go have some breakfast. Same thing with miso. It's like really hard for me to tell right now if miso's prego. How you doing miso? You don't look any fatter. But I mean, I think she must be because Catherine can no longer encourage them to have uh, try for kittens. So she, Miso must be pregnant. Aw, I like that, Olya. I like that, that her first pet passed away when she was a child and it traumatized her. Yeah, she, lo she definitely loves animals. I also think like she's never been a people person. She's never gotten along with people, and she's always had a special bond with animals, so that's what she wanted to do with her life. And coming to Edgewood allows her to do that with the least amount of hassle possible. <laughs> okay, let's clean this. Clean that. You gotta do your own cleaning today. You're spending too much money on maid service. <laughs> and fill the bowl. Aww. Maggie, you're not very nice, are you? You're not a very nice dog, at least not to other animals. She, Maggie needs to be in a one pet home in the future, I think. Okay, Catherine, just whatever you wanna do today, I guess. I'm not sending her to work until I know for sure that she's not pregnant because just, I don't wanna take the chance of it screwing up. So I'm just gonna basically let her do what she wants today. And maybe, I don't know, maybe she could go on another date. I'm really starting to think she's not prego, though. Well, how much time do we have left? 17 minutes? She could definitely go on another date in 17 minutes. Oh, no! Cr Catherine! <gasps> no! <laughs> no, you can't take a bath in the dog bath in the backyard! Oh, my god <laughs> jeez oh my god okay i mean i guess you have a privacy fence hopefully nobody can see you <laughs> shameless she is she is i don't think we're gonna get we're not gonna get kittens or babies today but hey we made a lot of progress in Catherine's life we did, unless Miso just gives birth, which I don't think she's gonna do. I don't even see her getting like fatter. I don't see you getting fatter. I wonder if we can check pregnancy status of a pet on SimBlender. Can we do that? Miss, oh, pregnancy. Miso stray. Oh, <gasps> Miso is definitely pregnant, okay? I'm not gonna terminate it, of course. I don't want to check on Catherine's though because I don't want to know like the sex or if it's twins or anything. So I'm still trying to wait and see. I think you're right, Marta. I think there. I think there is an edit. I need to do. I need to find that. Oh, she's gonna do some yard work today. That's nice. That's nice. What? Oh, she, nature is her hobby too. I don't know what her sub hobby is. Animals, pets. <laughs> I guess the cats don't show. Or maybe she's just not showing yet. You know? Aw, she's gonna go play with me, so. Toss the pregnant cat in the air. That's a great idea. <laughs> Yay! Aw, Chomps is jealous. Oh, yeah, we're gonna have to name the kittens, too. I forgot about that. Yeah, we need to think of names for them. I wish I could see, like, when she was due, you know? 
Because if we knew when she was due, then I could, like, if we needed to go over a little bit for the kittens to be born, we could. But I don't know when she's due. So I'm going to speed things up a little bit. Do you usually get a notice that your cat is pregnant or does it just randomly give birth? Nah, we'll just name the pets whatever. We'll just name them whatever. Whatever we like. Because I don't want to try to keep up with the pet names like I do the sim names. <laughs> okay, her needs are definitely going down. So let's get in here and we're going to see today if she's going to get a, a, a baby bump or not. I don't remember what time their date was. I should have looked at that. Do you guys remember? You should get a notice. Okay. Well, then Miso hasn't gotten her baby bump either. <laughs> Nobody's gotten a baby bump in here. She needs to eat again. So maybe she is pregnant. I don't know. Okay, it just turned 6 p.m. So she's 33 now or 34. God, I don't know. I don't know how old she is. <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So have we been playing her since Monday? So she should be 35, actually. She's 35. I think that's right. The date ended at 7? Okay. Oh, you, oh, I get a notice when she gives birth. Okay. Well, the date ended at 7, then she's not pregnant, y'all. She's not. Which I'm a little bit glad about and also a little bit sad about. But at least we got kittens on the way. <laughs> at least we got kittens on the way. We're, we're not going to get notified until Miso gives birth. So I hope nobody wants a pet. Oh, wait. What are you doing? Yeah, she's definitely not pregnant, y'all. She's definitely not. That's crazy because they actually tried for baby. Do not go get in that tub. She's very tired, though. Um, I don't know why I was sending her upstairs. Let's send her. I'm going to go ahead and send her to bed. Well, that's just too bad, isn't it? But that's okay. I mean, it's really okay. I would rather her and Bruno get to know each other better first before they just jump into having a baby like all of our other Sims have done. <laughs> but yeah, she didn't get pregnant. Miso did, though. So we got a litter on the way. So I don't know. Do cats get like a pregnancy? Do they get a bump or a? do they get fat or anything? Or do they just stay their normal size and then you they give birth? I don't know. I know. I wanted her to have a baby too. But don't worry. Now that she's with Bruno, I'm sure they'll be having a baby next time we get back to this family. <laughs> next round. We need some people to be able to have babies next round at least. They don't get a bump. Okay. They tried for baby, Steven. They tried and she didn't get she didn't get pregnant. So we also need to write down that she tried for baby one time. Um, so she only gets two more times to try for baby. So I'm going to put that down. Try for baby times one. So we remember that. Yeah, there's going to be plenty of opportunities. There's going to be plenty. Yeah, I know. The cats and the dogs playing together are so cute. I was hoping we'd get kittens, but I don't think we're going to get kittens before the end of the stream, guys. Unfortunately. Unfortunately, but that's okay. We we know. Oh, I also need to write down that we have a litter of kittens Um, due. So she tried for baby once and kittens do. Um, that way we remember when we finally get back to this family <laughs> that we've got some kittens on the way. Oh, they're fighting again. Who's fighting? Oh no, Maggie, don't attack sweet little Josie. God, Maggie is kind of a jerk, y'all. She's kind of a jerk. She's always attacking the other animals. We need to get her to a good home. 
um, with where she is the only pet and she gets all of the attention. She does not need to be in a multiple pet home. So we need to keep that in mind whenever uh, we have a family that wants to adopt. Yes, I'm gonna get the pet food mod. I gotta get the pet food mod so I can put the pet food into the pet store and I'll also put a small little section in the supermarket as well. One grumpy cat, one grumpy dog, and one grumpy human. <laughs> it's the grumpy household. <laughs> oh, and let me save too. Let me save all our progress. So I can't believe it. We didn't have a baby. I just can't believe it. <laughs> the grumpiest family in town. Yes, Maggie will be... I think Maggie will be the first dog probably to be adopted if one of our uh, Sims wants to adopt a dog. Because she just needs her own space. You know, she's not doing too well with all of these other animals around. She needs to be in a family... A family that just wants one pet. <laughs> the grumpies. The grumps. <laughs> okay, well, it just changed to winter. So our time with Catherine is up, y'all. And this was really fun. She got to run her pet shop. She's doing really good at the pet shop. And besides, you know, being totally mean to most of her customers, that's going to make things difficult on us trying to get the business rank up. Because every time Ravi comes in, it, like, goes down to zero again. <laughs> and we got our kittens are on the way so we made some progress there and yeah i think what we need to do is we need to adopt maggie out to another family and then we need to get another big dog for josie to uh, mate with and then we'll have some puppies as well <laughs> is she nice yeah sure she is sure she is Okay, so I'm going to save again, and we still have a couple minutes left of the stream, so maybe we can, I don't know, we can go check out something in the neighborhood. Let's see. What do we have? We have like eight minutes left. Let me go out to the neighborhood. Um, so next stream, we're going to be playing the supermarket and Ana Luisa, so I'm going to have to get a house, another house for Ana Luisa which I'll probably move her in over here because this is sort of like becoming the little residential area so far. And then we've got our business area um, over here. So let's go in and have a look at the supermarket so I can kind of show you guys what I'm doing there. Because um, I'm going to have to finish this before the next stream. Now this supermarket is the same. I built the same exact supermarket in The Sims 2, 3, and 4. I have a version of this supermarket in all three games because <laughs> I just know how to I knew I figured out how I liked my supermarket and then that's how I like it I'm not going to try to build a different one <laughs> I think I already have a house in mind for Anna um, so here's what the grocery store looks like so far I really like these backlit um, lights these backlit signs I really like them. But anyway, this is exactly the same supermarket I have in my other games. So you'll probably see this again. <laughs> you'll see this again in Sims 3 style and Sims 4 style. I and mean, I just have a little small parking lot for this. And then, so the top floor, I don't have anything on the top floor for this one. In my Sims 4 supermarket, I have the whole top floor, floor filled up with like conference rooms and offices and stuff. I don't think I'm gonna do that here because we just don't need as much space. <laughs> so anyway, this is it. <laughs> This is all I've gotten done so far. <laughs> I got um, produce section and floral section, and that's it. Um, but I'm going to be working on this more. I'm going to fill this all up with stuff. I'm going to have a butcher section over here. And um, then back here, we have a storage room. And then, of course, this is where the delivery van comes to drop off the deliveries. But that's all I've gotten done so far. I really need to work on this because I'm still trying to decide how what I want to do uh, with the supermarket, like what exactly I'm going to sell in here. I would really like to sell like real produce from the farm. So I'm going to need uh, I'm going to need some shelves and things to sell the produce. And I have to see how that's going to work for me. But of course, I also just I'm also going to have these normal store displays here and I'm probably going to put this is really big, and I'm wondering if I didn't make it too big. Wondering if I didn't. Oh, a coffee shop in there is a good idea. That's a good idea. Maybe a little a little bakery. Not as good as Leslie's Bakery, but just a small little bakery we could do. Um, 
Um, the sign I got from... Hold on, I can tell you exactly where I got it from because I have it listed in my... Uh, I have it listed in my custom content for my Strange Town build. So hold on just a second and I can give you the link to it. Um, there's a whole, the signs come with a whole bunch too. There's like a pet store, a restaurant. It, there's a whole bunch of signs that come with it. So one second and I'll uh, give you the link here. Let's see. Backlit, uh, la, 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 la. Pooklet Mog Shop Signs in Simlish. So here they are. Yeah, only bread in the bakery. I like that idea too. So here's the link right here in the chat to uh, the the signs, and you have, make sure you get the mesh too, because the mesh you have to, it's like a little bit further down. But get the mesh and the recolors. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of them here. Let me show you. There's like uh, that's the one I use for the pet store, not in this world, but in another one of my neighborhoods. Um, there's like this one i'm not exactly sure what that one's for there's a whole bunch there's a toy store so i'm going to be using that for my toy store um there's a florist there's like a i guess that could be like a tavern or something um i don't know what that one is there's this one there's just like a whole bunch of barber shop clothing store yeah they're really really good and they're and they light up too bookstore um, so if I turn it to nighttime, it lights up. How cool is that? I love those. I've been using those like crazy in my Sims 2 world. <laughs> Worlds, neighborhoods, whatever. <laughs> okay, so yeah, I'll probably do in the grocery store, I'll probably do a deli, a bakery, a butcher, that kind of thing. So we can fill this all out. And I'll put some shelves for produce. And so what I'm going to do, and this is what I did in my other supermarkets, is I made, oops, I made like a little butcher's room over here. And then I put the butcher counter right here. So I'm going to do that. Or, you know, actually I'm going to put the bath, yeah, and then I'm going to put the bathrooms over here. We need public bathrooms. So I'll probably put a male and female bathrooms right here. And then we'll have the butcher counter right here. So something like that. Um, and I don't think I'm going to do it upstairs in this one because I just don't think we're going to need it. And then, you know what? Maybe I'll do one more over here for a little office as well. <laughs> and then we have the little floral area over here, produce, and we can fill all this in with other stuff. Um, I put the payphone in here, but I think I'm actually going to move that outside somewhere. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Right now, I'll just put it right here. We'll find a nice place for it, though. Um, the Simlish foods that restock the fridge. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I need to get... I saw a bunch of them on Mod The Sims. I saw a bunch of... Uh, what were they called? Some kind of foods. Anyway, that your Sims can buy and they add fridge points. That's probably the same thing you're talking about, Marta. But those would be nice because we could put those on shelves. So I've, I'll probably be using those, yeah. Yeah, I think this will be the office, bathrooms, and butcher room back here. So yeah, I've got a little ways to go, but I will keep you guys updated on this and I will have this completely ready uh, for our next week's stream. Or not next week, but the two weeks from now. Okay, so let me save that. All right, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap up here, guys. Thanks so much for joining me for this stream, and um, I'll be seeing you guys real soon with another Edgewood stream. I really appreciate all of your support and everything, guys. Oh, okay, cool, Marta. Yeah, I, I, I think I know what you're talking about, but I'll go look at those. It was quite a stream. Yes, it was. <laughs> Catherine is actually a lot of fun to play because she's just, you know, she's just her own sim. <laughs> she's not agreeable with everything that i want for her <laughs> all right guys well i hope you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend and i will see you next week with some new videos new streams i'm gonna be streaming sims 3 on wednesday sims 2 pleasant view on monday 
And then, of course, back to Strange Town Saturday next Saturday. And I think that's all I got for you. <laughs> Everybody have a great weekend, and I will see you guys in the Discord. Oh, and also, if anybody is watching this back on YouTube and you would like to join us for these members-only live streams, um, you can click the little join button down below to become a live simmer, and then you can come and join us and be part of our uh, Edgewood streams. Bye, guys. <laughs> Have a great weekend again. See you later.